Trash Taste is coming to Europe. If you guys have seen before, we've announced that we are doing a Europe tour in mm. September of 2023. Tickets are still available for some of the shows, so get them while they are there. Links down in the description below. So we hope you enjoy, and if you want to see us in person, well, looking forward to seeing you guys in Europe. How many so Final far. Fantasy games have you played? I have finished zero Final Fantasy games. <laughs> I've started FF7 Remake. Mm. I haven't finished that. <laughs> we have a problem. You realize I, that, I right? Finish your goddamn game. Fuck. Welcome back to another episode oh, of Trash Taste. <laughs> I'm Connor and I'm with the boys. Got Joey, they didn't know I was gonna do that, so welcome back. What the oh, hell? Give us a warning. No, yeah, man. I was, I was no. just singing Pendulum there for a second. So I, last night I ordered Thai food and I ordered Thai food from this place. It sounds like an AI conversation. Yes, yeah. yes, okay. So this- I, I am judging you have my attention, no, Connor. You, I know you like Thai food yes. as a Thai man. Really? Uh, and I, I had two Thai places that I like to order from. One of them does like just, the best green curry. It's just great. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. perfect spice level. The other one, they have Thai sausage, which if you've never had it, it's amazing. Mm, Try it. it. It's so it's good. good. Yeah. It doesn't taste as much like sausage in my mind as other stuff, but it's just filled with an ungodly amount of spice yeah. and spices. Mm. And they do that, but their green curry isn't as good. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shit. So this time I order from that place with the, the Thai sausage. I, I'm kind of craving the sausage. <laughs> this <is> Jojo. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I leave a note saying, Hey, last time you gave me this uh, green curry, there was no spice to it. Yeah. Can you add the spice, please? Yeah. Um, and they did, and they added a lot. And of now spice. you're bleeding out of your ass. <laughs> Today has been a rough day for me. Yes. I I think they definitely. I, I literally. I put a translated into Japanese. I said, "Can you please make it spicy? Last time it wasn't." Uh, and I think I think they took that as an insult. The yeah. chef. The, I, 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 <laughs> I didn't want to be that guy. I try to frame it not like an insult, but that it would it would definitely catch their attention to be like, oh, this fucking guy, fine. Because yeah. I wanted the spice level to be insane. Yeah. yeah. I was not expecting the jump that they added. It was like, it went from like no spice whatsoever for, for Japanese people to just automatically extreme Thai difficulty. It was like, it was spicy for even Thai. It was no, crazy. It, I, I think it was the, uh, you know, if I were to see that note, um, it's the, it wasn't spicy enough last time. Yeah, last that, time it wasn't. It yeah. was, <laughs> there was like no spice to it. Yeah. I, the only reason I thought to do this, cause you did this one time yeah. as well. You, but you wrote it in Thai, right? Yeah. You were like, hey, please make it spicy. I'm Thai. Don't yeah. worry, I'm Thai. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm Thai. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. Cause I, I swear I wrote it last time as well. And they just completely ignored me. Right. I did you write it, it in Thai though? Yeah. I wrote it in Japanese. Oh, right, that's right. why. Yeah, and but this time I wrote in Japanese too. And yeah, they, they listened, and my but, god, but they, they took, took it, it as a challenge. I think they took I, it. Yeah, I think they literally were like, "Let's kill this man," <laughs> uh, and, and I ate it all. It was great. Yeah. Uh, it was very spicy though. I was like, yeah. the kind of spicy where you're like, you know, and you you get the burps keep coming up. You're like, <laughs> it was good then. <laughs> like, did, did, did you get the hiccups? Uh, I did get the hiccups a little bit, but it was great. It was yeah. so good. That's how you know it's good. The flavor was amazing. They, they <laughs> yeah. finally upped it. Uh, <laughs> next time I gotta be like, hey, where was the chicken though? There was like one bite. Yeah. So next time you write like, that being like, hey, so where's the chicken? Yeah. It'll just be a whole chicken <laughs> it's gonna in be your curry. Whole, it's gonna <laughs> be oh, you want chicken, eh? <laughs> it's a rotisserie chicken Boom. that turns up. <laughs> just keep challenging them and they'll just like keep upping it. Well, now I know they're, they're, list, they're actually reading the special instructions, yeah. which yeah. I thought they would anyway, but I guess sometimes they just don't. Sometimes they're like, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not listening to your special. Yeah, I'm not getting paid enough to do this shit. I'm not listening to your damn special instructions. Someone named Connor. <laughs> how how are you with a uh, Vietnamese food when you're in Vietnam? Because I know I know it, Vietnamese food for like Southeast Asian levels mm. isn't that spicy. No, I opinion. would definitely. There's a there's a tier list of spiciness when it comes to Southeast Asian yeah. food, and it's from least spicy to most spicy. It's Filipino, Vietnamese, and then like. Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand are like up here. Yeah. So it's like, you can choose spiciness if you want. It's like a choice, like with Filipino food, but it's yeah. not like, oh, with or without the spice makes a difference. I like how anything. Thailand just removed the choice. They're like, no, <laughs> yeah. no, you will die. Yeah. You will get used to it. Thailand's like, this is how it works. You're going to take it or leave but it. Seems, I mean, I understand why they would do it, but also, I, I, I mean, I know there's history behind it and whatnot. Yeah. Mm. And stuff in spice stores better, yada, yada, yada. But from a, just a, a modern day perspective, surely it ruins your taste buds going anywhere else in the world. You're like, man, nothing is spicy anymore. No, okay. It, uh, I, I, I don't agree with that just because- <laughs> 
Fuck I've, you, you're uh, wrong, you're a piece of you, shit. Fuck you, fuck you. Actually, <laughs> Spice is superior. Everything could be improved with Spice, no. I don't think that's true. Uh, I think Thai cuisine especially is mm. just like, the way it's cooked and the way it's flavored, it mm. just really much lends to having some spice yeah. in it. Uh, and because I don't like all spicy food, I've talked about this before, like having the, you know, Japanese curry and having like the different tiers oh, of yeah. spice. And mm. sometimes there's a point where you just feel like you're adding spice in artificially. And that yeah. just like, that ruins this. It's not me. like spice that's integrated into the dish. It's like kind of spice on see? top. Did you yeah. see the Kokoichi added a new level? Have they added yeah, a new level? It's, it's level 15. 15 now. Do you just like take a scoop of like the chili powder and just like- Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it comes with a side of like bowl of chili powder. How, how bad can it be? Yeah. It's, I well, mean, I mean, I can't bad. do 10, yeah. so. Kind of tempted to order it now. Yeah. The student I've seen, just I only found it. out because of course, every Japanese YouTuber was like, oh, free If content, we ordered yeah. it right now, would you try take a t teaspoon? I'll try it. Let's order it. Let's order the 15. Are you yeah, serious? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's, we'll get a small, we'll get a small. We'll just, yeah. I want to see how bad it is. How bad can it be? Okay. The 10 pretty bad. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting to die today. <laughs> no, 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 it's a, a little bit. So, so in okay. Ichi, they they do one to 10 and the 10 is, it's pretty bad actually. It's, I don't yeah. know, yeah, I don't know what the fuck bad. they are. I'm I, order. I can't, I, okay, mind you, I'm right, just, right just for reference. This is how we keep people hooked as well. Yeah. Like, I gotta come yeah, back Yeah, wait till Don't skip ahead. For reference, my, the, the, comfortable level for me is level three. Right. Right. And I've tried level four because, because, and you know, that's a glow up considering me. Who, yeah, yeah. You've, you've done well. You, yeah. You've done well. I used to, well. I used to think level one yeah. was like, I'll get oh, the low God carb damn. carry. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Because that was my other concern. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I used to, I'd say, like, before these guys move, <laughs> it jumps from what? 10, 10. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'm not showing anything. It jumps from 10 just to 15. There's no like <laughs> there's 11 no, to 14. No. no. It's they like they got burned by 15 days. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ordering. Yeah, but like for reference, like before these guys moved to Japan, I was not as used to eating spicy food. Yeah. Um, or, you know, I couldn't handle it as well. Uh, it's only thanks to like me eating spicy food with these guys and just doing like, you know, like the spicy ramen and like the ghost pepper and shit that I've had to do for video has definitely Dude, helped yeah. me. Having just one ghost pepper in your life reframes like spice for your body. Yeah. <laughs> it like makes you reevaluate what a jalapeno means. Yeah. yeah. Jalapenos used to be like, oh, spicy to like, Oh, this is a nice garnish. Yeah, I could. I, I, I legit couldn't even like eat a habanero. Love habanero. Yeah, like, I, I, I remember a video of you eating a habanero and you were just dying. Oh yeah, because like back then I was like jalapenos were like my max <laughs> that I could go to. I'll tell you about. I, I, I told you that one time I made like chili with uh, ghost pepper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I, I, when I did that, I. I don't know if I told this on the podcast, but I basically put two ghost peppers in. Cause I thought for like a batch of chili of like eight people, mm. yeah. like I would be fine. It would level out. Yeah, it would yeah. level out. It didn't happen like that. <laughs> and I gave some to my housemate and she was just dying. She was like bright red, be like, yeah, you had a little bit of spice too. I was like, yeah, a little bit. I had two peppers, ghost peppers. Yeah, <laughs> but it was fun. See the thing, the thing I, you know, as a Thai person, I when when I like spice, I want chilies. I want fresh chilies. Yeah. I don't, I don't like so much like mm. chili sauce. I don't like you know dunking it in a fuck ton of chili sauce. Mm. I want like the fresh chilies. I want to see the chili seeds in the dish that I'm cooking because mm. to me that yeah. gives a much more like, like that fresher kind of like spice like feeling uh that's not kind of like artificial like if i have like too much chili sauce it just upsets my stomach i feel like yeah. but that's the thing right it's like you know when i had the ghost pepper right mm -hmm. i i completely understand you know the whole concept of adding like chili peppers or like ghost peppers into a dish mm. right because the the spice complements the baseline flavor of whatever yeah. the dish it is. did not it, it was a terrible <laughs> i mean maybe with your not yours yeah, but like so with a lot of like thai food for example and like yeah. vietnamese food like yeah i can totally see why this is necessary but when i yeah. had the when i had the ghost pepper on stream it was like the ghost pepper itself doesn't really have flavor, yeah. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's like I ate into bell pepper, but it had gunpowder inside of it. You know? Like <laughs> it's like there's no like yeah, distinct, no, like mm, this yeah. is delicious. Yeah, the kind only of flavor thing, is yeah. just pain. Yeah, it's yeah. just pain. Well, that was like when I did that, did the one chip challenge, and I thought it was just like it can't be that bad because people do it. Yeah. yeah, and I thought you know if it's really bad, people wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> that one was pretty fucking bad. Really? That was like I think it was Carolina Reaper. 
And that one was like, it tasted well, like two of them. Yeah, if, if it's just one chip, I assume it's going to be the spiciest pepper that it's you fucked. can get. Yeah, it's just so fucked. Con- concentrated. Yeah, I'm good, dog. Yeah. That ain't it. Let's just, uh, let's just fucking take pure capsaicin or whatever it's called. <laughs> you know, let's uh, let's call up Nigel and just My be like- uh, Fuck. It's pure form. <laughs> yeah. that'll, be, that'll be the next Kokoichi level. <laughs> My stomach like, hurts thinking about this like Kokoichi is coming. I still haven't recovered from this Thai food. Yeah, yesterday. you know, I wanted to have a good day today. <laughs> well, yeah. It's just one spoonful. What's food for? Uh, it's fine. Okay, it'll be fine. Okay, it'll be fine. Fine. But while yeah, oh, go on, go on. while while we're waiting, you know, I had I had my weekly existential crisis <laughs> because okay, okay. I uh, I I was just lying in bed and uh, you know just next to Sydney. It was the first thing in the morning, and she's just like, "Hmm, is that a grey hair I see over there?" <gasps> and, I'm dun, like, dun, dun. and I'm like. Sydney, don't say that. Don't, don't, don't. I think you could rock gray hair though. Huh? I think you'll look great with gray hair. I mean, I, I think, okay, here's here's the thing, right? So next I, I don't, I don't mind having gray hair. Yeah. I don't, okay, this, I know this sounds like fucking copium, yeah, but- yeah. You, wear, you, wear, you wear turtle neck scarf. <laughs> yeah, turtle you are built. Turtle necks <laughs> are built for people with gray hair. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. gonna look great and it'll complete the full arc of Gigu's hair. <laughs> From full anime pro tag. To, to mellowed out <laughs> Southeast Asian man. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna go from anime enthusiast to like yeah. fucking Southeast Asian mathematician. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I don't mind having like the odd gray hair if if I am graying. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm talking about this on the podcast, but whatever. But like it's it just put like a thought in my head, okay. right? Just to be like Life is futile. <laughs> Life is futile. I am getting old because um whenever this video is coming out, so like my next uh, my next video that I've been working on this week, which will probably be out, mm. uh, is kind of like a fucking, it's it's a full on fucking D-Gen anime, like full on D-Gen manga kind of level. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, I remember like, it was that day where Sydney told me how to gray hair, took the shower, started writing my script. And I'm just like, <laughs> How much longer can I <laughs> get away with doing this shit? <laughs> Talking about degenerate anime yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, because like, I remember when I was younger, right? My parents would be like, "You're gonna grow out of anime someday. You'll, 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 you'll grow out of this phase someday. You're gonna grow up." And then I just never did. Okay, and then to be yeah. fair, I do not think I'm ever going to grow out of like anime or gaming or mm. all this shit that like our parents told us we grow out of yeah, sure. when we were younger. But there are certain things where I'm like. Can I, can I get away with this? When I see I'm you a- came to the realization I came to about two years ago. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, I, I think obviously anime being, well, it's not new, but in terms of like having more of a fandom around it in the West, it's certainly yeah. more on the newer end yes. compared to something like, let's say Star Wars, which has been around since what, 80s? Or like comic books. Yeah. Yeah. Or comic books. books. Yeah. You know, and. You, you look at like the demographic of people who go to Comic-Con, you're like, a lot of you dudes are like in your 50s or <laughs> late 40s. And it's like, yeah. well, clearly this is not like nowadays we are past the, because obviously the, the consuming media and this type of stuff is all kind of new. Mm. And like mm-hmm. this generation or the, the current generation that's alive. Yeah. So it's like, I think, I don't think it's like you grow out of it anymore. I think it's you, if you're, if you're still into something when you're 30, yeah. odds are you'll still be into that thing yeah, or something course, adjacent yeah. to it at 50, yeah. 60. I think, Specific, maybe talking about anime titties. Yeah, that you might do that less. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 Joey, Joey. When do you think you're gonna stop liking anime lewds on Twitter? At what age oh. do you think it will be become the moment you have a kid? The moment you have a kid, you have to stop. Definitely, I did think you about have to. The moment you have a kid, you cannot. Be definitely, the shit. moment I have a kid, for sure. Yeah. Um, I think, I think the moment I have a kid, I'm probably just gonna like just cut back on social media entirely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is, like, I think the right thing to yeah, do. Yeah, which I think is the way to go. But or, it's like, yeah, double it. <laughs> make give it to kid, the next person. Make the kid the new star. <laughs> Milk him for money. I'll be mean, like the anime man <laughs> Twitter it, account is kid. now being handled by my son. <laughs> yeah. uh, so anything he likes and you the like. Anime man Junior. Yeah, yeah, anime man Junior is gonna like it. So uh, you know his taste. It's all his taste now. It's yeah. got nothing to do with me. Yeah, <sighs> because I'm. I, I've had this thought because I came to the same same conclusion mm. where it's just gonna be like, okay, when me and Sydney eventually have kids, that's probably going to be a huge catalyst to change some of our behavior. But just because I know that, you know, it's gonna become less socially acceptable to let's say talk about this in public, mm. it's just something in my brain gonna change to be like, okay, actually anime titties are uh, uncool now. You should <laughs> you should not like this stuff. Cause I- I, I think I, so, yeah. You think so? Is that, I is, think it's like a gradual change of yeah. like taste. Like maybe one thing that was super lewd, you might not 
be as comfortable interacting with that kind of stuff. Yeah. But mm. you still like lewd stuff, but it's like, okay, you're slowly maybe going away from that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even just like- like your opinions on life. Yeah. Stuff like that happens all the time. Yeah. I mean, even just like my taste in like, you know, like the more degenerative shows or whatever. Like I remember there were so many shows when I was like, 13 to 15 years of age where I'm just like, oh, it's lewd masterpiece. This, this is the, this is the greatest piece high of fiction. High school DXD. <laughs> the greatest piece of fiction. Oh. High school of the dead. And, oh. Yeah. And now, and now, you know, and some of them are still great just because of the other components that made that gr show great. But you know, yeah. I would say a good 80% of those like lewd shows that I used to think were like great shows. I look at it now and I'm just like, eh. And it's not like, and yeah. you know, maybe it's because I've just like grown out of that phase or maybe- it's Cause you have because, a girlfriend, Joe. Well, yeah, or maybe it's because I touch grass. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, my tastes have definitely changed, but I don't regret that. Cause I feel that's just the natural process for anyone, regardless mm. of whether mm. you fucking do it for a living or not, right? It's like, yeah, obviously yeah. the shows that, you know, you were thought were fucking amazing back in the day. Yeah. yeah. In, and you look back at it in retrospect, you probably think to yourself, it either didn't age as well, or you're just like, it's not really my wheelhouse anymore. Anymore. Yeah, you know. well, I think it's interesting as well because on the podcast we always talk about what we like, dislike, our opinions mm, and stuff because yeah. that's all we ever do. Mm. Yeah, uh, and I've noticed that it started happening more and more where people will be like, "Oh, he, one of us said something that contradicts something we said three years ago." Yeah, and it's like, okay, trash is going to get to that point where as we're growing older and we're changing our opinions and our views on things, yeah, that yeah, we're we're obviously going to contradict what we said three years ago. Yeah, because yeah. we're going to change our mind on stuff. Isn't it and it's so weird having to do that. <laughs> Isn't yeah. it insane to think that opinions change? Well, it's- Isn't I, that crazy? And also, I guess, I guess, isn't it insane to think that we just say dumb shit sometimes? Yeah, sometimes don't we? we don't I, think. <laughs> but I can understand why a viewer can get that because it's like you have this kind of want, it's like a, a, a cat, like a, a, a complete video mm. that is a complete recreation of you three years ago. Yeah. It's completely there and you saying that thing and it's still you today who is that person in the video. So it's very easy, I think, for a person to think that why would their opinion change? Because it, it feels so recent and so accessible, this opinion. Mm. Yeah. When obviously you said it three years ago yeah. and they don't see the entire journey or follow that entire journey of how you changed your mind yeah. on things. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't even, it's not even like a matter of like time. You know, it could just be something like you thought about this one thing maybe because you were you know uneducated in it or you didn't have enough information you didn't have enough of like a scope on it and then yeah. once you got the more full picture and you really thought it through then you're like oh you know what maybe my prior opinion on that was just wrong or yeah. you know isn't wasn't reflective of what i think now in my current headspace and yeah. you know that could happen as early <clears throat> as like fucking within the year with some people. You know, it's like sometimes one person could sometimes say- one, like last week. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Some One person could say one thing that just completely shifts your mind on it. And yeah. it, your, your opinions change on that forever. But on the world of the internet where any video of any timeline is accessible at any time, mm, someone yeah. will look at it and be like, oh, look, see, he's contradicting himself. I'm like, who doesn't? Everyone contradicts themselves. That's what an opinion is. Opinions yeah. are supposed to change. Yeah, did you, did you guys, okay. Like going back to what it means like grow up and like change your opinion, like mm. be an adult. Did you guys have this like image of, let's say you're like, you know, in your late teens going into like, you know, 17, 18 year olds, going to university or whatever. And you had like this image about how adults are like supposed to act. Like, mm. oh, once you finish high school, adults are meant to act this way. Or once I finish university, go into the working world, adults are meant to act that way. And then you, you actually do grow up. Uh, and you go into the working world, you go into university and just, you just have this like image in your mind about how people your age are supposed to act. And then you realize, holy shit, the, the people do not act the way that I thought they would at all. There's that, but there's also the opposite where it's like you, you look at an adult, say like your parents, right? Mm, or your dad right. or whatever. And you think like, not every dad likes this kind of shit. Like I'm not gonna be like that when I get older. And then, you know, and then you grow up and you're like, holy shit, I used to think trips to Ikea were boring as fuck. And now I'm super excited to see this new couch. Like, and, and it's not even like a matter of like, you know, it, you growing up. It's just like, yeah. oh, this is just like a natural progression that every adult goes through, whether you like it or not. And it's mm. like, and it's not, and you get old enough to the point where you realize, oh, it's not even cool trying to go against that grain because now everyone's doing it. Yeah. You know, it's like, there isn't yeah. a single adult out there who's like, you like furniture? <laughs> Fucking normie. <laughs> like no one's like that. It's like, it's just a natural thing that like, as an adult, there's nothing wrong with, and it's completely a natural progression to just adopt those like interests and styles regardless yeah. of, 
how you live or how you grew up, right? I, I, have, an, I have a question. Okay. Go when on. did you, like, cause obviously we turned 18, we're adults. Yeah. 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 Mm. What did you feel like you became an adult? <laughs> uh, still waiting. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I. It's it's like, half. Like and when half. when do you feel like that you felt that you were comfortable in like who you were as a person and as an adult and like a function? I would say twenty six. I'm still I uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, still, yeah. still uncomfortable. I'm still uncomfortable with some things. Because one thing I I there was this feeling that I always struggled to to shake, mm. were, and I and I don't know where this comes from. But you know when you like, let's say, and maybe maybe this is because I I went straight into YouTubing after finishing university. Mm -hmm. But you know when you turn up to a place and because we, we're like we're like we're like YouTubers and stuff, and I don't know what it is, but like you, you feel that like everyone is like doing their job, yeah. and you feel like you are like fake at being there, yes. at being like present. At, like you feel that everyone knows their role and you feel like you're faking that you're involved in this. <laughs> Every time yes. I get invited to like a company outing or like a fancy <coughs> dinner yeah. party and shit, I'm just like, I am a child. Like, yeah. I, I should not, I make YouTube videos. I, I should yeah. not be yeah. here. Even though all the adults around you are just like, yeah, he's got a he's got a job. He's making money. He's got his own business. He's an entrepreneur. But like in your mind, you're just like, no, I'm not. I'm just a fucking kid yeah. making dumb videos on the internet and somehow making a living off of it. <laughs> like I don't feel like all of you actual professional adults. Yeah, whatever that means. I, th uh. I think I think my one of the biggest realizations I had when I was like fully an adult was. Uh, yeah, growing up, I thought the one thing that would happen when I went into the working world was I'd realized that people would be suddenly become competent. And then I soon realized that in no matter which industry, no matter where you are, uh, there will always be incompetent people. Uh, and there will especially somehow be incompetent people in higher, uh, positions of high power. Yeah. Like no matter what. And I yeah. it would I, I just had this image that I was like in fucking university. I'm just like dealing with this university kids. I'd just be like, everyone here is a fucking idiot. When I get into the working world, people will suddenly start to make sense. The world's <laughs> gonna make sense. People will do their jobs. And then I went into the working world and people still didn't do and their fucking like, jobs. And you were like, damn, adults are dumb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> adults are fucking dumb asses yeah, sometimes, And I'm just right? like, is this what being an adult is like? Some just realizing shit. that the world is actually incompetent and everyone's coping with the fact like, that- Like, damn, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm like, how, how are you adulting? How the fuck do these, do these companies function? And then somehow these companies do function, but you go into the companies at like a, you know, either, either an entry level or you see how the company functions internally. Mm. And you're like, how is this, how how does the world yeah. turn? I don't understand when there are this many incompetent people in the world. Maybe this is just a me thing. It's people like that that make me realize like, oh, you can be a dumbass adult and still survive. Yeah, well, yeah, well I, I think, yeah, because you you remember that one guy who fucked everything up more than the, t the 10 guys who did their job. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Is it here already? Yeah. Wow. Like I thought that one guy who does nothing in a group project was like a school thing. You know, I I, I, oh, I, no. I I thought that one guy who just sits around and does nothing and takes all the credit for the group project was a school thing. And then I realized that this is just a world <laughs> That's thing. That's called a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's people like that wow. who end up in high positions wow. of power. <laughs> it's you, like, yes, I am present. You just hope, right? You hope that those people don't get rewarded for that and that the people who work hard do. And yeah. that's kind of the trust you have in the system is that yeah. people who, yeah. who work hard, you just hope they'll be recognized. And you know, like, and, and it's interesting, right? Because it's like that one kid in every school project that, as you were saying, like fucking is just shows up, but takes all the credit. Yeah, you know, some of those people just never grow out of it. And they're just like, oh, I mean, it worked in school. Yeah. It probably works as an adult. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. And then there are some people I feel uh, who are in that position during school and they're just like, wait, this works in a school environment. Right. But if I did that shit in the real world, I'm getting sacked, dog. Like I, I'm be, I'll be out of a job. Well, if you're not in Japan. If you're not in Japan. In Japan, they're just like, we've gamed the system. Yeah. Just show up and don't do anything and you can't get fired. Yeah. yeah. Sounds all right. I'm I mean fucked. like, okay, I don't know if this is a loaded question, but do you guys feel like adults? I already asked that. <laughs> you, you, okay. I, I literally asked you that. <laughs> you, you asked you ask when. 
You ask when, if if you do do. See, okay, oh, okay. what's yeah. your, what's, do do. what is your, okay, in that case, what is your- <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I just love that he, I just said that. <laughs> you kind of, you guys are so different, but it just okay. sounded the same. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Apologies. Okay, okay. No, no, we're, just, we're yeah. fucking idiots. Okay, so, okay, so, so to reiterate on that question though, what would you say is the defining yeah. feature of what you consider an adult? <laughs> I think- Like what is the I, difference between an adult and a, a still a fucking like, I, young guy. Yeah. I think that being an adult means feeling like you have a place in the world mm. and you have a purpose. And okay. that you're serving a goal, whether to yourself or working in a company, and you feel that you're in something that is, is right for you and you're you're benefiting you, yourself or whatever it is. Mm. Like, oh, I feel like that, it's a purpose. that ain't an adult dog. That, I, think that, I think that's what it is. That is not an adult. No, I, I, like, I think I think it's like when to yourself it feels that way. Right. Yeah, I yeah. think society is a, the term adult. Yeah. yeah, 18. But I think yeah. the moment you internalize like when you feel that like you yourself have like figured it, not figured it out, but like you feel that, okay, I've, I'm starting to get a, a, a grasp on this life thing. Yeah. Is when you're like, you sh the, the pieces start to fall in place. Right. Yeah. Cause like, I, I think what is you it, just- Is it the Coco AG? Okay, oh, yeah. we'll, 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 do, we'll do that later. Um, like, I, I feel like what you just described is pretty much like the, almost like the opposite for me. Okay. Cause when mm. I feel like an adult, uh, when I when I first started to feel like an adult is when I first started to feel like lost and I kind of realized, holy shit, mm. everyone my age feels lost. You, because when you think that you found like, we're, as an adult, you're striving to find that oh. place where you kind of feel like mm. you know your place in the world, you're bringing something useful. I know so many fucking people, let's say like- I, th I think like, most people don't feel that. Yeah, way. most people, yeah, most people don't feel 20s, that way. Yeah. Most people like that I've met in like their mid to early twenties to like sometimes late thirties, early forties, they feel fucking lost. And they're like, I do not know what I am contributing. Yeah. Uh, and I do not know where my place in and life is. And you think that feeling of being is. lost equates to being an adult? I like feel- Like that's the, the shared experience of yeah, that, of that I, loss, being lost, isn't mm, it? Yeah, I feel like, because when, mm. when, when you are a teenager, you think that you're just gonna suddenly figure it out. And I remember yeah. getting like, <clears throat> I remember getting my first, like getting my first acceptance letter for like my first real job, which mm. you all know what it is. I thought, fuck, this BBC? is- BBC? Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I thought to BBC myself- BBC mentioned. I thought to myself, fuck, this is it. I am finally an adult. I've made it, man. Mm. I've got my first job, actually gonna have disposable income, gonna get a paycheck. Worked there for a year and I felt more lost than when I started. And mm. I feel like that experience is probably not going to be an alien experience to a lot of people. And then when I started feeling more comfortable was when I talked to people and I was like, oh, this isn't a me thing. This is an everyone thing. You, we, we, we're all feeling the same way. We all have no fucking clue what See, we're doing. See, but then like, I would argue, you know, you said that like during, you know, like high school or whatever, there's a lot of people who are just like, yeah, I have like a set plan. I'm gonna figure that shit out. But yeah. I don't know, me personally, I felt lost as fuck during high school. Cause I was just kind of like, I, I understood that in this school environment- I think that's the norm though. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? It's like, so it's interesting you say that the feeling of being lost made you feel like an adult because I feel like when I was lost, it made me feel like I was still a child because I was still trying to figure out my place in society. And then it's when I finally figured out what I wanted to do, which was this whole YouTube creative thing. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I started to be like, okay, this isn't like games, this is just games mm -hmm. and play anymore. Like this yeah. is like a serious occupation. This is a serious job for me now. Yeah, And like, even though I still, you know, treat that whole business and occupation as, you know, with a lot of fun and, mm. you know, uh, yeah. casual, you know, way, I also understand that at the back of my mind, I'm like, if I fuck this up, then it's not just a matter of like, oh, well, no, I've lost a hobby or I've lost a thing that I like. Yeah. Like yeah. I have lost a job, like I am, you know, and that creates serious consequences in my life. So I feel like, for You're me, it was the opposite. I, being an adult <laughs> is consequences. I think, I think, be, yeah, I it's think, dealing with, like, yeah, because yeah. in high school, if you fucked up, you mm. had people around you there to support you, right? Yeah. Whether it, you know, and you know, obviously not every high school kid has That's this, but you know. We all have very three different interpretations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, cause I feel like- I think they all, they all have valid mm. reasonings yeah, I, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I, I think they just come from 
uh, our own subjective life experience yeah. because mm. I feel like we are all in very lucky positions now um, in that we do have a job which we find fulfilling. You know, yes. that is a fucking rarity and that is a goal that everyone strives to get. And I feel so fucking blessed every day I wake up and I know that I'm doing something that I find fulfilling because doing like three, four years of an unfulfilling job uh, working for a company, it's that's soul sucking. And people have done that for far longer than I had to experience. So, you know, it's, it's something I think we have to acknowledge that I, you know, I feel like we've found our purpose in life Absolutely, yeah. a lot earlier than some other people may have found. Yet, and isn't it interesting that even though we, you know, as far as what we've talked about, uh, the definition of being an adult, yeah, it, by definition, since we have found a job that is an actual legitimate job and we find satisfaction and we feel fulfilled in, which mm. is what we have kind of lightly defined as being an adult, yeah. yet, if you ask any traditional media about YouTubers, they'll be like, oh, these fucking kids just fucking oh, around, you know, having fun, all that kind yeah, of stuff, you I know? Mean, and it's like, it's it's interesting, like the dis this disparity of like having a, a stable job, I guess, or like, you know, a real world job that's not like, you know, content creation on YouTube is considered like the adult choice. And yet I'm sure there's a lot of people in those like job fields who maybe don't feel that way themselves. Yeah, you know? I mean, like, I'm, I, f I feel like times change a lot and you just got to adapt with the times. I mean, like mm. fucking 40 years ago, you were f you were looked like a degenerate child if you are still living with your parents mm. uh, at the age of like, 30 or 28 and mm. now with the, the reality of the world is that the housing and rent prices are so fucking high that- <laughs> Give me money and I'll fuck, get the fuck out. <laughs> that there are a lot of people who still live with their parents, yeah. not because they are a deadbeat degenerate, just, just because financial it's, choice. it's a wise financial choice and they still yeah. have a job that they commute to yeah. from like with their parents. And it's just like a smart thing to do mm. nowadays. You know, and it's just like the way the world is. But like what I, okay, so- <laughs> You're an adult when you feel like an adult, I feel at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I guess what, what I was trying to get is like, how do you, like, what is the turning point or what is the, the series of thoughts or emotions that make you feel that way? Cause obviously, of course you feel like an adult when you're an adult, whatever, yeah. uh, but like, how, what is the, what, what is that? Okay, at like, least for me personally, yeah. it's the feeling of every action I take from here on out, every choice I make from here on out have real life consequences, whether that be good or bad. I, th I think I think the term you're looking for is responsibility. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's it. I am responsible I, for everything I do, everything I say, who I interact with, how I interact with everything in my world is now directly gonna come back to me. There's no I, parent buffer. There's no teacher buffer. Hmm. There's no anyone in between to like <laughs> hold your hand I, or smooth I, I, it out. I always wanted that though as a kid. Yeah. I yeah. hated the fact that I was tied to like, so my, you know, not not in a bad way, but like tied, to, everything was directly tied to my parents in some way. Mm, I always yeah. wanted to have independence. And, well, and, and I think that's why a lot of high school kids, you know, have that feeling of like, yeah. I want to be an adult. Yeah, you know? yeah. But okay. one of the independence, why I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> do do you ever like, you know, you you know, you're like as a kid, the kind of like stereotype is there are kids who grow up way too fast and they miss like their, let's say childhood or things mm. that you can only mm. experience as a kid. Mm. Do you feel like, do you feel like there are parts of your childhood that you do miss or as a kid were you just like, I just want to be an adult as fast as possible. Uh, and it's kind of like, let's say met the hype of <laughs> everything that you thought being an adult well, was as a kid. I mean, I think I think there's a lot of- Well, again, we have to, we have to bear in mind that <laughs> I think it's different, right? Because I think that again, like you said, we're we're, very, we're successful in what we do. Mm -hmm. and so obviously, being successful at whatever age or you know mm. having money at twenty three is obviously like great. Whatever, I'm like yeah. that's awesome. That's so much better than being twenty three and having to work two jobs just to pay rent. Yeah, like mm. that's like, and I think that's not on the person from their childhood. I think that's just purely of like. Were you dealt a good hand in life? Were you fucked? Did you make any big mistakes mm, that came yeah. back to haunt you? Like, I think there's a, there's a bunch of reasons. So it's it's hard to like be like, I, I think it's 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 impossible to be like predetermined if you were going to be someone who like thought that your ch childhood was better. Like, yeah. I think it's something that just happens. Just fuck up happens. Like, what if you were, you know, you you had a you was you had a uh, really good childhood, but you were super. You couldn't wait to be an adult. You matured and whatever, and maybe you got in like a bad car crash, and then maybe you can't 
you lost, you know, maybe you, you're blind or maybe like something bad happened to you or maybe a, a loved one died. And it's like, okay, well, that would completely change how mm. you view all of this stuff following. Yeah. And you would obviously look back at your childhood in a lot more like kind of, uh, what's the word? Uh, nostalgia. Yeah. Uh, Cause you're like, oh, everything was fun and safe and great back then. And I could play video games and drink Ribena and it was fun. Like, yeah, and- I guess we can only really talk about our personal yeah, yeah, I mean, however, we, we can only talk about our personal yeah. experiences. Yeah. However, I do think that uh, I, if I had to go back, I'd probably still be a joy being a kid because all I did was play video games and that's kind of what I want to do now. Okay, and, question. Yeah. What age, if you could go back in time to your childhood, right? Mm. For let's say a week to yeah. experience it again, how old would you be? Dude, being like 15, 16 was like the best age. I love that. Because I felt old enough to enjoy shit and be mature about it. Yeah. I hated the exams, obviously. Yeah, but I felt like I was caught, like I was, I was mature enough, but I could still spend all day playing video games. <laughs> I, I would go back to like twelve. Twelve? Why twelve? I, I think twelve. Okay, because like twelve is like kind of that point where you're like, you know, transitioning from primary school or elementary school to high school, at least in Australia, right? Yeah. And I feel like just you're taken more ser- a little bit more seriously mm. than while you're in yeah. elementary school, but you still have all of the benefits of being. Out fresh out of elementary school, right? Like, yeah. like, so like what, you can you can do like more like kind of childlike activities and like be okay yeah. with it. You know, you can you can basically indulge in all your hobbies, whether they're like more mature or less mature for your age, right? Like, yeah. you know, I could I could do all of like the more immature, I guess, like high school hobbies mm. at the same time. But I if but if I wanted to fucking stay at home and you know watch anime for fifteen hours while mm. you know sucking on my thumb, then I can also do that too. Like yeah. it's it's fine. Like you get You're like take me back to when I liked anime. Yeah, take, <laughs> take, take me back. Take me back to the time where I could watch anything and I'd probably enjoy it. Honestly, I can't do Joey, that. Joey's same. As a jaded yeah. old man now, well, I can't do I, that I, anymore. I take we, me back to I, when I discovered One Piece and I yeah, like I, fucking marathon that shit in exactly. a week. I think as an adult, you just miss being able to not feel bad about spending one week doing fucking nothing. Yeah. And now- Cause that was your you whole life. Yeah. yeah. So the next time we had to do that is when we retire. Yeah, and we're like fifty or sixty years old, an old man. But we yeah. don't have the we don't have as much energy as we did back yeah. then. So you're kind of limited can, to I what you can watch do. a lot of TV. And yeah, stuff. you can do that. Yeah. But I mean, like to uh, me, I, I think I can just boil it down to like a sentence, which is like, when was the last Christmas I was actually excited about? <laughs> you, know, like, you know, you know what I mean? You're like, when was the last time you went to bed on Christmas Eve and you're like, oh, I'm get, I when get I got that Nintendo presents. Wii, that was a game changing yeah, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, it was like, I think it was around like 12, 13 years yeah. old. That was like the last point where I'm like, oh, I can actually get presents. It was when holidays them. actually like meant something. Right, you know? right. Like, it wasn't yeah. just like, a, I'm doing stuff with my family and friends. It was like yeah. a fucking event. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was yeah nice. exactly. It was nice when you had to, you Christmas day, you're like, damn, I gotta play Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, and this newer game. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't know which one to do first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it man. was just the excitement of just being like, this is just gonna be a banger day, yeah. no matter what. The I'm next gonna, week, I am in heaven. I am <laughs> gonna play new video games that I can only get this many video games at once on this day. I'm gonna eat some banger food, yeah, right. and uh, it's just gonna be a good day. And that's that to me is kind of like the pure happiness that mm. I will never experience again as an adult because <sighs> it's, great. It's, it's a different kind. It's, of it's, it's a different kind of happiness, which you know, it's we we. I'm still ha- I'm very happy being an adult, mm. but you know. There is a certain type of happiness you feel as a kid that I would love to experience again, just just once, just 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 just. And I once. feel the only way to like realistically be able to experience that again is when you have your own kids, where you can kind of live vicariously, vicariously. through the, enjo- the through the enjoyment of watching your yeah. kids experience that exact same thing that you probably experienced as a kid as well. Yeah, Hopefully, until you become an anime fan. Yeah. <laughs> until yeah, and then the moment when my son or daughter comes up to me and they go, "What's One Piece?" and I'll be like, "Rest in peace." <laughs> <laughs> He's following see- his dad's path. <laughs> (laughs) (laughs) This episode is brought to you by Cash App. With tools for saving and spending, it's the best place for you to level up your money and glow up your life. Listen, boys, I might not look it, but... (laughs) 
I'm a bit of a gamer, more specifically a JRPG player. And if you guys have played JRPGs, then you would know that leveling up in a video game is so important in every aspect and every game. So why don't we use that same mentality in our real lives, level up our real life skills. Well, luckily Cash App can help you do just that on the financial side of your life. All it takes to pay someone is their phone number, email, or cash tag. You can even scan their QR code straight from the app and you'll see your balance updated immediately. So you always know when a payment went through. And not only that, you can get exclusive discounts with Cash App Pay and Cash Card. It's a faster, simpler way to bank without so many fees. Now that I myself am an adult, I have to make sure that my finance level is up to the max. And thankfully, Cash App is there to help me get to that point. So download Cash App in the App Store or Google Play with the link in the description below with no hidden fees and a free to order debit card. It feels like a cheat code for your finances. Thank you to Cash App for sponsoring this episode. Back to the video. I want to try this curry before it goes gross. All right, All right. Let's, let's just let's do try. one little let's, try. Let's try for fuck's sake. Curry, right. Go I'll, on. I'll, I'll, I'll be the first. Go on. I can, or, I can already you. see this will be the most replayed part of the episode. God I just want to, I just want to, I'll, I'll take one little test. Bro, that looks viscous. <laughs> can we get some spoons? Oh my God, it smells. <laughs> oh, smell that. Oh my God. Dude, why is it so thick? Oh my God. That's like a paste. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Let me, uh, oh. 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 I'm not oh. excited for this at all. Do we have any milk? It's fine, it's fine. I'm sure no, it's fine. No, it won't. I'm, sure it's I'm gonna fine. die. Joey's just not going to uh, talk. You guys go first. I'm okay. gonna just try this real quick. I mean, I'm just gonna try a little bit. All right, all right, all right. That's all right, I'll, I'll deal with water. How is it? Um, It's not that bad, actually. Is it not? I don't, I, 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 not, the, I do, do the not thing, trust these two's opinion. The thing about like- <sighs> Actually, it's not, it's not as bad as 10. I remember 10 being worse. The thing really? about the thing about this is that a few bites isn't too bad, but it's, it's, the when, whole you, it's thing, when you yeah. have like the whole thing that you start- Oh, suffering. I can smell that fucking hell. I can literally see like the- uh, <sighs> Curry powder. Oh, it's yeah. it's it's more powder than curry, man. They're like they're like salt grains Ugh. of curry powder in there. It's a little. It's not awful. The Thai <laughs> one I had yesterday was worse. Genuinely, it's not that bad. You could I, try, you I could do did this. Not trust you me could guys. do this. Yeah. You could do this. All right. The one bite. Not, not that bad. One bite isn't that bad. It's when you have an entire and it's going like, down your an throat entire, and oh, we're an good. Entire dish we just we just shared. Rip, yeah, rip we just shared. Yeah, no worries. I think it's like more peppery than it is like yeah. spicy, you know? I mean, it's definitely spicy. Don't get yeah, me wrong. It's, 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 definitely, <laughs> it's definitely spicy. Yeah. I'm sweating a little bit. It's very peppery. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it, right? It's yeah. the peppery kind of spicy. Being an adult is enjoying that's pepper, the salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fucking spicy. That's spicy. It's yeah. not that bad though. It's- Is it as bad as 10? <laughs> I've never had ten, so I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty. Uh, I mean, I don't, didn't. Didn't Aki make a video, a whole video about eating ten, and, and it was yeah, like I didn't an, fucking eat it. It was like yeah. a twelve-minute video about how bad it was. I don't think it was that bad. Yeah, I, I yeah but she can't eat level one. Oh, oh okay. She, that, she's Filipino. She doesn't eat spicy bad. food. But that's the I kind should of... do that with oranges. <laughs> like a video where I'm like, oh, Ben tries orange from Florida. <laughs> okay. No. To be fair, I think because I have trained myself now in the past couple of years on that. I, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's not bad. That, it hurts, that's fine. but I can deal with it. That is the kind oh. of spice I don't like. That's the that that's so much like artificial spice. Yeah. Give me like a good pepper. Give me that's like not a like good the Thai fresh peppers. Pepper. The Thai peppers <gasps> when I see them, they strike fear in me. <laughs> oh, I, I, I know my shit. digestive system is going to be <laughs> fucked the next day. I've oh, been yeah. I've been I've had I've shit four times today already. <laughs> <sighs> Like, okay, so- I'm sweating. I guess go-, go <laughs> <laughs> This can be an interesting process. Being an adult that. is being able to know that you're gonna regret a decision and still make yeah. it. When- uh, if, Yeah, I'm leaving that right now. If, if or when you eventually have kids, would you try to give your kids, like, would you try to make it so they don't grow up too fast either? Or, you know, they kind of have like the child, like what is like a good childhood? You know, what what is a good childhood that uh, aside from obviously just being in a good position? Uh, having <laughs> rich parents. <laughs> <laughs> being a Nepo baby. Yeah, no, uh, I don't know. That's I think I think it's the idea of, you know, I would say I had a pretty good childhood. Mm -hmm. um, not because like my parents were like well off or like, you know, I was like fucking privileged or whatever, you know, De yeah. that's all dependent on perspective. But like, I think the one thing that made my childhood really good was that my parents were like open enough 
and were understanding enough for me to be able to pursue what I wanted to do. Yeah. Or like pursue like, even if it was like fucking insignificant, even if it was something like, uh, you know, hey dad, I want to start playing tennis. Mm. Yeah. You know, or like, I want to learn how to play the piano. No son, you shall not play yeah. tennis. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or it's like any kind of like thing where it's like, you know, I want to be, I want to like learn how to do this or like learn this skill or be able to do this or play, you know, this thing. And as long as it wasn't like too fucking extreme, like, you know, if, if, if I was 11 years old and I was like, dad, I want to skydive. He'd just be like, you're on, you're on crack. You know, you know, I'm not going to let you do that. <laughs> but you know, if it was just like, you know, like childhood, uh, you know, I guess discoveries of like, you know, certain things you want to do or certain uh, skills you want to try. I think a good childhood is having those parents that just let you do it. Yeah. And, you know, being like, all right, we'll let you do it. If you don't end up liking it, that's totally fine. Mm. If you end up liking it, hey, Good for you. I think it's just having that option open. Mm. Yeah. You know, because there's a lot of like controlling parents out there. Oh, my, who are my, like, my, my parents you will do so exactly fucking, this and this and yeah. this. You know? Yeah. They're so tired of me swapping hobbies all the time. Oh, so they were like, fuck's sake, pick something. Yeah. <laughs> we just pick something and, and stick with it for fuck's sake. That's why to my parents, it's a fucking miracle I've done YouTube for 10 years because yeah. they thought for sure I was going to get bored of it and just hey, I, quit. I know what I liked, right? Yeah. I, I was not going to compromise on yeah. that. If I didn't yeah. want, if I thought I liked fucking playing badminton and I thought it sucked afterwards. I had play. hobbies that lasted like not even a week. But oh. it's the fact I think that my parents let me discover for myself whether it was something I actually wanted to do or yeah. not it defines yeah. a good childhood. But I guess that's also like, I guess that is, it's not like privilege, but also obviously if you have to be a bit, bit well off to allow to pay for your kids to do this kind of stuff. Cause oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. nowadays I feel like this, it's, it's a lot harder to, to be like, hey, yeah, I can I can afford to give you piano lessons that are probably never gonna come to anything. And I mean, it, mind you, there were some there were some things as well that I was like, hey, I want to do this thing, and my parents were just like, we don't have the money for that. Oh, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. yeah, so like they were fair about it, you know. So yeah. they obviously saw they were like, all right, is it financially viable? <laughs> so Joe, my you bought, you bought a thing. fucking Mario uh, theme song for my phone. Yeah. So you're broke. So yeah. no piano lessons. <laughs> No piano lessons. <laughs> Fuck you, Jerry. I, my dad always used to say, like, I'm putting that on the tab. Yeah. <laughs> so, for, when, for when you have to pay me back as an adult. <laughs> Every time I was like, Dad, can I buy this, like, candy? And he's just like, How much is it? And he looks at it and he's like, All right, I'm putting it on the tab. <laughs> and so, as a kid, I dead ass thought I had this, like, fucking IOU that my dad was, like, keeping track of, being like, I, I was just prepared for when I turned 18 for my dad to just be like, Happy 18th birthday. Kind of cool to know exactly the IOU. how yeah. much money your parents have spent on you. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I, 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 no, yeah. Just out of uh, no, for no reason, just to, no just, reason. To have, just to see a number that was like, it's, this is how much we spent. Well, I mean, it would yeah. give me a good idea of how much I have to spend on my kid, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say pay him back. Yeah. <laughs> but you were like, nah, yeah. fuck him. Jo Joey finishes- I am the gift. Nah. <laughs> Joey finishes uni university and he gets a student loan and his dad comes along and he's, he's like, this is the real loan. Yeah, this is the off. real IOU. <laughs> this is the IOU from your entire so like, life. So is there an interest rate on this or? <laughs> <laughs> what's the, can you Google what's the average amount parents spend on their kids in their entire like life? I'm just yeah. curious. Cause I know this, I, know, I remember there's a figure like 10 years ago, but 10 years is nothing. Yeah. I was also watching this thing and like, you know, when you watch things and they mention like money and then like in today's money, it's this. Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, oh man, that's crazy. That's so long ago. And you're like, it's only a hundred years ago. You're like, oh shit. Wait, I'll, I'll be alive for like most of that. Yeah. <laughs> so my money could go from being like nothing to something if I if I just held on to it. Well, yeah, that's which literally we, every person who like bought a house. Like that's like your parents yeah, and grandparents up. age. Yeah. It's like, we bought this fucking seven bedroom, four bathroom mansion for like $20,000. And it's, it's like today yeah. it's like, oh, I can buy a shoebox for 1.5 million. That's, Can't buy that's shit just no more. every American realizing how young their country is. Yeah. And, uh, how how much of their lifetime they've already spent? I mean, I in get it. Australia history. was the exact same thing, bro. Yeah. Do we have an amount? Yeah, three hundred k in the US. Three hundred k in the US. Okay. So for one child, right? For one per child. Per child. All right. All Fuck right, you now. Well, future child. I've, I, I've got three brothers. <laughs> Future, future, my future child, if you're watching this, I expect the 300K back <laughs> by the time. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna I, write, I wanna write, I'm gonna actually start a tab. Start a tab, <laughs> yeah. just to see. I, I, I dead ass wish my dad actually kept a tab so that as an adult, I could be like, all right, let me see how much. It would be super interesting in hindsight to be like, we spent how much on this weird hobby for you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people don't keep track, right? I, yeah. I just, just cause I love looking at numbers and it's so fun seeing data. Yeah. Is, uh, like all lined Bro, up. Bro, I, I went to piano lessons for like 15 years. I don't wanna think about how much money my parents spent. Did you choose to do piano lessons or did you? I did. So how it ended up happening was who, uh, my sister was actually the one who was like, I want to learn how to play piano. And mm, you know, right. my mom was always like, you know, being the Asian parent, she was always like, oh, my, 
my Asian child wants to learn an instrument and it's piano, <laughs> destiny. <laughs> so we bought like an upright piano for the house. Right. And my sister was like learning how to play. At this point, I hadn't started at all. My sister, I would just watch my sister like practicing and kind of struggle because I guess piano wasn't really a thing. And then I would jump on the piano and I would, without any lessons, just be able to play the exact same thing my sister was. He's a savant. What, what a flex. He's and, a then, flex. and then that's when my parents were like, I think we should get you in <laughs> instead of my sister. So my sister immediately quit after that. And then I filled her place. Right. And then I did it for 15 years. Oh, so oh, sure. it's like my parents, my parents were probably thinking like, oh, thank God the investment on that piano didn't go to waste. Cause if I had never picked it up and my sister would have quit, then we would have just had a fucking mm, yeah. you know, dust, dust filled piano just in our house. But Fair enough. it was actually put to good use, thankfully. <laughs> do, you, do you know why I started guitar? Why? I'm about to call out my mom here so, because <laughs> It wasn't actually my decision to start guitar. Or really? I, I didn't have like a real like, I don't think I had interest in it. Yeah. But mom, my mom was like, I'm signing you up to guitar lessons. I'm okay. like, okay, why? And she's like, you'll get girls. <laughs> <laughs> Did she really? Yeah. Wow. She, was, she, was, she was like- she was Your like, mom got the rest, bro. <laughs> she, she was like, girls like-, like, like, uh, she, so, like she was like, girls like it when guys play guitar. I'm signing you up for, I'm true. Signing up for guitar. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That is true. I, I thought it was going to be like a status symbol thing. Cause often it's seen as a status symbol to make your kid as talented in an instrument, right? It's yeah, like, yeah. Play yeah. the thing, boy. <laughs> yeah. the thing. Come you on know, now, play the piano. Entertain my guests. I, I think it's more like a piano or like a violin or like it's a classical like classy, instrument. Yeah. And my mom just like tried to get like, tried to like riz me up. She was like, yeah, this, this will be useful in life one day. And then I just started playing guitar. And I, I think I was like, as a kid, I just like, I was the type of kid that just, did things because people told me to do, to do it. I didn't really- <laughs> He's <think>. a sheep. <laughs> uh, and uh, I just continued doing guitar lessons and then like accidentally started a band just because I kept <laughs> doing guitar lessons. So, Fair enough. Was, so, it, so, uh, that's, so basically the whole reason uh, why yeah. nine and a half pounds exists is because of your mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell Hell yeah. Pretty much. Let's go. Yeah. I, I never did any instruments. I actually did try to learn drums, mm. but I just realized I just didn't understand rhythm. Like he was trying, <laughs> he was trying to teach me it, and I was like, "It just doesn't make sense to me." Well, what do you mean? It's just like I, I, he would try and teach me like basic shit, and I'm like, "I just don't get it." <laughs> like I would, I would be able to replicate it, uh, yeah. but it would be be because I like had to translate it in my head into like. Uh, like like ones and twos or like hitting numbers. Mm. Yeah. Like I had a like a sense of a robot. Like a counting system, yeah. Like a robot essentially. Like yeah. I, I can't recognize the rhythm as like a a, a thing. I just I can't <laughs> listen to it. I can't replicate it. Right. So I gave up on that pretty quickly. Um and then I yeah, just did sports. A lot of sports. Mm. Yeah. But only I only really liked the sports where it was like I, I hated team sports because I hated having to be in a team. Because I got pissed. into League of Legends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hated having to rely on other people. Uh, right, which yeah. sounds so fucking anime MC. <laughs> yeah. I don't need other people. But I genuinely like hated sports where I had to like, I was part of a team because I, I wasn't very good at No, I'm totally well. the same. That's why I started tennis. Yeah, well, so yeah. I didn't like so that's tennis. That's a 1v1, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't like tennis, but then I got into squash known as racquetball. <laughs> Have you ever spoke about this? No, you've, you've, you've never, never talked about it. I'm just squash, as it's called in the UK. It's yeah. called racquetball um, in the US. Or as I like to call it, privileged tennis. It's normally like, <laughs> yeah, It's what's weird is, uh, I guess like when I left the UK, I realized how bizarre this is. Mm. Like almost every, <clears throat> every sports center in, in Wales, at least, I'm not sure about England, um, they would have a squash court. Really? Every yeah. single sports center, they'd have a tennis court. They'd have a-, a Is it big in Wales? Uh, it's pretty big in the UK. I guess it must be. Yeah, it's pretty big, oh, and they'd have yeah. like those those the, the like the giant concrete walls mm. with the glass front. So yeah, yeah, and like every like, a lot of people played it, mm. but then I realized when watching American like TV that it was only played by like super rich businessmen <laughs> when they wanted to like talk. Yeah, and it was like oh. I used to play that in school a lot. It was golf or uh, squash. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so I, I played that. I played. Uh, I was on. I, I guess by default, I, I played for Wales for a little bit because there, was, there wasn't many of us. <laughs> yeah. I was like number like 19 or something, number in, in Wales. No, it's terrible. <laughs> Uh, wasn't very out good. of nineteen players. Yeah, I like twenty. I think I was like into like the rankings at least. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was fun. I liked that, and because I liked the fact that I could just sprint and hit a ball really hard. Mm. Yeah, because tennis was so much about like technique and being elegant. I guess, um, but then, no, I, but then, I, 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 but then I started so. playing badminton. Yeah, which is like I guess even more so that. Yeah, yeah. badminton is um, like more finessey. 
yeah. in tennis. Yeah, and I, I, my brother did it as well. So I, and it was kind of interesting because we were like the opposites. Mm, yeah. I was always looking to like smash it as hard as I could, mm, yeah. like an ogre. <laughs> like I, and I was very fat, like, cause I was, I was, I was very good at sprinting. So yeah. I was very good at sprinting and smacking it really hard. Whereas my brother was really good at technique right. and yeah. being like smart Dream about team. it. <laughs> uh, well, we never played together cause he was in an older bracket. But yeah, so I, I just, I was just a Neanderthal. Um, right. I was like, hit it. Everything I wanted to do, I wanted to just rely on like raw uh, ability. I mm. never wanted to study. I never cared about get like learning to get better. I was like, mm, I just yeah. want to be good at something. You're and right. I just do it Yeah, over and over again. It's, <laughs> it's, it's always weird to see, to like talk to people and just see how many like weird hobbies and yeah. phases they went through as a kid. Cause like, yeah, I, m- I remember when I was in like middle school or high school or something, I was like on my like team's basketball team. And we got to what? like the- like we, we, we didn't even have I, a basketball I, I team. Did, I did a bit of basketball You did a bit well of basketball as well? School. We didn't even have basketball. I mean, the only reason I joined was cause uh, we, had, we had PE and the coach was like, you should join you're the tall. basketball team. And I'm like, why? And she's like, you're tall. And I'm like, okay. No, I only joined because it was, I read Slam Dunk and I was like, I want to fucking <laughs> play course. this game. Of course it was, Joey. I wasn't, I was the shortest dude in my team. <laughs> I'm just like, no, no, don't worry. I, I can be like Mitsu. I'm, I can be a short, sprinty, fast guy in the team <laughs> right. and I'll be good. I did that for like a few months and then yeah. I was just like, this is too hard. Yeah, were, were, you, were you any good at it? I was decent at it but i think it's because like because i'd grown up doing a lot of like ball sports like soccer and like tennis mm. and like just a whole variety of them and like i did a bit of like baseball and cricket and stuff like that as well but nothing yeah. too seriously i think i was just did used baseball? to baseball i did a bit of baseball what yeah. the fuck yeah when i'd come to japan uh oh. like i would have like some friends who would like play a bit of baseball i've never played baseball i think sometimes when baseball's I, fun I, as fuck when i explain to americans like no no we we do not know anything about baseball. We don't under <laughs> we don't know it. It's, we don't have no, it. No, dude, baseball would be the perfect sport for you because Why? if because if you're a batter, you just have to think to yourself, I need to hit this ball as hard as I fucking can. Yeah. And as a fielder, you just have to think, I need to grab the ball and throw it back as hard as I fucking can. There's no like there's like little bits of finesse in it, but it's not like squash or like tennis where you have to like think about your no, moves I or think anything there's like more. that. There's gotta be more technique to it. There is technique, but not as much as like squash. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I, not qualified I, I, I don't, I don't know if this is going to get my passport revoked. Um, I think like baseball is funner than cricket to play at least. Cause I had like one baseball, uh, we in, in PE. I have mostly. no strong feelings about cricket by the way. Huh? So I have no strong feelings about <laughs> okay, cricket. Okay, okay, so good, I don't care. I do. <laughs> <laughs> because, okay, so we had like, you know, in PE uh, in high school and everything, we had like, you know- Indian cricket. viewership drops to zero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello fellow Americans. Uh, but yeah, we had like one baseball lesson uh, in, in our PE class, mm. because I guess there was like one of our gym, uh, gym teachers was just like really, really fucking into baseball. Mm. And I'm like, I, f- I despised every cricket lesson I ever had. <laughs> I was just like, maybe I just hate the act of hitting a ball that's thrown at me on a stick. And then I've realized that when I played baseball, for some reason, it was just so much more satisfying when mm. you just get the strike in, oh. like way more than it was for cricket for me. I don't mm. know why. I just, I something about the way baseball- I think it's because like more satisfying. swinging a bat like this, yeah. I think it's just more natural yeah. than swinging a bat like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like holding something like this when also, something cr- is cr- coming- You gotta wear all that stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Cause otherwise you are gonna have severe injuries. Well, I mean, in baseball, if the pitcher is shit, you're gonna get, you know, you're, <laughs> you're gonna get a, a fast ball thrown yeah, at you, yeah. right? It's still dangerous. It's, yeah, yeah. Both, both. I think, I think uh, the ball for cricket is obviously like a little bit harder. Oh, that thing is a rock. Oh yeah, yeah cricket's fucked. Yeah. yeah, I hated that the, ball. At the amount of times that ball has just like smacked right into my shin and left the biggest bruise on me while playing cricket. Oh my god. Yeah, that shit's painful. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I've always found baseball more fun, but I like there was so many sports that I wanted to get into when I was younger, but mm. I just also didn't have- Like what? T- uh, I really wanted, I really enjoyed hockey. Mm. Hockey? Did, ice did hockey you, or normal hockey? Just normal hockey. Okay. <laughs> ice hockey. Because in, 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 in America, if you say hockey, it means okay. ice hockey. No, yeah. yeah, just field hockey, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've really, really fucking enjoyed hockey. Uh, but in England, at least that was more seen as like, you know, that's, that's like what the girls do, you yeah, know? Yeah. It's yeah. like the girls <laughs> did, the girls did hockey and netball. And the guys played like basketball and football, you know? Yeah. And I, I was like, shit, but I, I, I really, I actually really fucking enjoy <laughs> hockey. I wanna join the girls. But uh, we don't have a, t- we didn't have a team in our school, but I, I really wanted to play it more. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, I really enjoyed that. Was, was there a sport you always wanted to do, but never got the chance to? Uh, just give it a go. Even if it's like, just for like one time, just to see if you're like, 
even like it or just interested in trying it. The sports where I'm like, how the fuck did you get it? How do you even get into that? Like, like the what? the one where what's the uh like how do how do you if the one where they ski and shoot things like I'm like how the fuck do you even get into what that? what you know the in the Winter Olympics when they they do like the really long distance like ski walking yeah yeah, like ski, yeah skiing but they're yeah. like are going uphill a lot of the yeah, time yeah, and then yeah. they stop and pull a gun out and start shooting targets I've never <laughs> seen that you have seen this I've that's, never that's, seen you know what that about, what's it called again? Oh, I not curling. I want to try curling. But like curling, yeah. how the fuck do you get into curling? I want to try curling. Like, I don't know. Like there's certain sports where I feel like I crush at and yeah. I'm like, dude, I feel like as a kid, if you let me do the, what's it called? Uh, clay pigeon shooting. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I'd pop off. <laughs> I'm, I, Cause I've got the dog in there. <laughs> <You got> the <laughs> I feel like I, I would, but I'm like, oh, that's only for people from a very wealthy background yeah. who yeah. had uh, royals <laughs> close to a connection to some kind of, and you say you're like, oh, a lot of these sports are like kind of interesting. You just never get to try because yeah. you either don't live in a place where it's done or you just don't have the financial means to do it. Like another one like that is like skiing or something. Yeah. Like that's that's something that just requires being a bit more wealthy to do. Yeah. Did What's you find a guy? I'm no, 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 no. Military <laughs> patrol. Yeah, I was gonna say what kind of described sounded like a Call of Duty mission. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, no, it's that, not. Was, that was in it's modern warfare not. too, right? It's, no, no, no. Take oh down the helicopter. It's not like a machine gun, it's like a rifle. <laughs> Pretty uh, sure that's a scene from James Bond, right? You know, it's like a mission impossible like, <laughs> yeah. fucking scene. <laughs> and then he skis off into the yeah. helicopter and Tom Cruise <laughs> slaloming down and then shooting a fucking RPG oh, at a helicopter. The biathlon. Biathlon. The biathlon is a winter sport that combines cross country skiing and rifle shooting. It is treated huh. as a race with contestants skiing through a cross country trail whose distance is divided into shooting rounds. So like how yeah. well you do on the shooting gives you like time penalties or, or something. It's really cool. But it, man, is is it like one of those sports where I'm like, how the fuck do you even get into this? Cause you, you, you're yeah. cross country skiing, but a lot of it is like the, the skiing where you're like kind of having a, do the like running mm. with the yeah. skis on. It's pretty fucking hard work. And then on top of that, you got to, whip out a rifle and fucking yeah. shoot it. It's ridiculous. I'm like, who who came up with this? Bro, that's badass, man. That is badass. It yeah. is, dude. I mean, that's like average, I guess if you're just from Finland, that's just your childhood. But for like other countries, I'm like, who the fuck, who the fuck from like Morocco learned to do this? How do they learn <laughs> to represent this? Like, how, 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 do, how did this happen? It's like, uh, that's just like cool runnings, you know? Yeah, yeah <laughs> That's just right? the plot of cool runnings. Well, yeah, I guess it's like, yeah. yeah, it's like, you're like, how the fuck was I ever supposed to get into the sport that looks cool? Well, like, I'd love to try and do bobsledding. Yeah. How the fuck do I get into that? <laughs> yeah. who, do, who do I go to? Am I too old? Can yeah. I try now? Like, what do I do? One, uh, one hobby that I kind of like, I'm interested in getting back into, uh, cause this is just like, I, I think everyone has like Math. one wild card hobby. <laughs> that would be a great hobby to have. Uh, <laughs> my, my heroine hobby. Uh, <laughs> no. uh, I remember I went through a brief period where I did like ballroom and Latin America dancing. Oh, uh, nice. And I was actually really that would fucking get Fun. That would riz people up. That would riz people up. <laughs> Dude, mom, male mom send you the wrong thing, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> male dancers get so much. Holy shit! So much. It. Yeah, I mean, I did it because a mate kind of like dragged me to do it. Yeah. Uh, this was like this is like in university phase. Mm. Uh, he dragged me to do it because uh, he. I wanted to meet girls. So he dragged me to ballroom in Latin America because he needed like, he needed the guy to go with him. And I ended up just really fucking enjoying it and just doing it for two years because it's actually really fun. Now, do you know what's a male, like uh, like an activity yeah. that you do as a male that gets you the ultimate riz? What? Fucking ballet. <laughs> that shit gets you <laughs> ultimate riz every time. <laughs> Like it sounds like a budget, like <laughs> alpha conversation. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Which sport will get you the most alpha. pussy? Welcome to the Diet Alpha Podcast. Hello, T I, today I I'm going to convince you why doing ballet will get you ultimate risk. Hello, it is I, Andrew Cake. Uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about the ultimate, the ultimate alpha uh, ballet. Ballet. Yes. Ballet is where it's at. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I think now uh, I want to get back into it because I think it'd just be a really fun thing to do with also Sydney romantic, yeah, and romantic. romantic. Plus there is like, I, I I will swear to God, there is nothing that makes you feel like more powerful as a man than just dancing the tango with a girl, man. I'm jealous, it, man. Cause I have like absolute zero coordination when it comes to dancing. I cannot. <laughs> I, I, I have as well. I, to be fair, to, to, to say this, I sucked at it. I, I, I was that one guy that just sucked at it because I suck at dancing, but it just was so fun. And that one time you get the steps on and, it's it's like 
you know, dancing like something like salsa or tango, where you kind of like you as that you have to like lead the girl. So mm. or so like they have to like follow your lead, and there's just something so fucking powerful about that feeling of just being like okay for this one song you have to follow everything i say and everything i do not only that but that comes in clutch at the retirement home as well dog like <laughs> if you're that one old dude that could like break fucking their hips. Yeah. break their hips Mortal doing combat. the salsa bro all the grannies would just be like that man still got the wrist <laughs> after all these years yeah it is weird to like a, a lot of girls i know actually did ballet when they were younger then it's funny mm. you th- bring up ballet because mm. sydney did that i don't know like maybe maybe it's a fucking midwestern country girl thing but every uh every it's girl a, it's, it's what piano is to asian parents it's ah ballet. yeah it's ballet it's to asian. white parents yes. yeah i'm not sure i'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. just i'm just speculating <laughs> never mind. That's such a good analogy. <laughs> Ballet is just piano for white parents, man. Well, because it's like it's like a hobby that ninety nine percent of kids will drop, and the one percent will keep doing. Yeah, you know and I mean? the one percent that holds on to it become like savants. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Harry's. Gentlemen, do you have a bit of a a stubble growing around? Harry's has got you covered. Their innovative design delivers the same great shave you expect with German engineered blades that glide across your skin and a killer new look. You can experience the latest and greatest in the Harry's razor lineup delivered straight to your door for just $10 at harrys.com slash trash taste. Listen, you know me, I'm the beady boy here on Trash Taste and I don't often have to get myself clean shaven, but sometimes I do. And whenever I do, I always make sure to use Harry's because they're shaving is just so clean and it makes me feel silky smooth and oh so pretty. And just for you guys, you can experience Harry's sleekest handle yet with their craft handle starter set for just $10, which is usually valued at 17. So elevate your shave with the latest and greatest in Harry's razor handle lineup today. Get your $17 craft handle starter set for just $10, $17 worth just $10 by going to harrys.com slash trash taste. That's harrys.com slash trash taste. Links in the description below. Now get a Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Back to the episode. There's almost a part of me that wants you to try playing drums again. Why? Because I just- Because he wants to start a band. Yeah. (laughs) We're gonna get the band back together. I mean, we can do it if you like basic beats. I I can teach you. Yeah. I feel like, honestly, like, you know, you say that you, don't have like the concept of like rhythm and stuff like that. But I feel that's something that can be trained. I feel it's like, you know, when it comes to like musicality and, and stuff. Yeah, well, when it comes to like musicality, right? And like, you yeah. know, playing like an actual instrument, yeah. um, you know, there's like people who are just like, I can't fuck. Like, I cannot imagine you playing, I'm gonna, it's gonna sound bad, an actual musical instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what are you saying about drums? Dude, do you know, you know the joke of what do you call a guy who hangs out with a bunch of musicians? No, the drama. Oh, <laughs> because, because like I feel percussion is like, Throwing hey, look, hey, I drum play drums. Joys. It's fine. Um, so I feel like it's something that can be trained because I think just like knowing this rhythm. Like we, can we teach a monkey to cook? Yeah, so like, probably. Yeah, we can make it put together a carbonara, but it might not taste good. <laughs> yeah, it's still the skill though, right? Like I'm not expecting you to be the fucking greatest drummer in the world, but I reckon when it comes to like simple, you know, different stuff, like a four, four or three, four, like you could easily do that. You have a lot of faith for me, Jerry, that I, I mean, don't have myself. Yeah, I, I, I almost want to do it for a video. Like take you to like it a would, recording It would be place. interesting just to and, see how, yeah. yeah teach, how, I'll teach you drums I, for a full day and see how well you If get. I enjoyed it, it would be easy. But if mm. I don't enjoy it, I suck at stuff like this. Cause right. I, it's yeah. like, I just have no motivation to get better at it. Yeah, right. Um, I mean, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it is normally like that. What's, what's like a one skill you want to be able to like absolutely master by the time you're like, I'm too old to learn anything new? If you had to pick one. I don't think there's anything I can't learn getting older, I guess, that I would want to learn. I mean, yeah. I'd like to be good at cooking. That yeah. feels like an OP strat. <laughs> just that gets you riz. <laughs> just in general. <laughs> uh, not, not everything has to get you riz, Joey. Yeah, I'm does. not doing it unless I get riz. <laughs> I, I just think be, I, I- We already have partners, Joey. You have nothing to prove. I, I mean, I'm, I'm passionate about eating food. Yeah. And I think I would equally be passionate about making it if I had the time and just, the space to do, I just don't have time right now. And also I don't want to, that's not something I'm interested in right now, but I can mm, see yeah. myself being interested in it in like 10, 20 years. Right, right. When do you, okay. I, I guess the, I, I guess since we don't have time right now, which I guess is like the biggest factor for me learning any new yeah. skill as well mm. as it is for every working adult. When do you guys think you're gonna retire? 
when I have yeah. enough money. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, we've seen uh, we've seen uh, we've seen us like a slow trend now about mm. like a lot of like well off YouTubers who mm. have I guess announced their retirement. Like you know, PewDiePie I guess is like the biggest. He's one. He's also a dad now. Though, He's so, also you know. a dad. He also made crazy bank. He did. Yeah, that <laughs> man is crazy. that Let's man. Be real. That yeah. man and his son are set for life. Yeah. Let's be real. Exactly. And uh, like, I, I know there was a few others as well that announced that it was Tifu or something announced that he retired as yeah. well. He also yeah. made Crazy Bank. Yeah, basically, he basically just made Crazy Bank and retired. I guess it depends how much Crazy Bank I make. <laughs> See, I think for me, it's not only about like, do I have enough money uh, to be able to not work for the rest of my life or you yeah. know, be able to support my children if I have any or whatever. But it's more so for me, it's like, you know, I, cause I feel like retirement is that kind of point where you're like, there's nothing I want to like turn into a career. There's nothing I want to do that will necessarily mm. generate money anymore. Yeah. And I feel for me, it's like, that's a really important part about it because it's like, you can say you're retiring, right? Yeah. You know, say like, oh, I've, I've made enough money to support myself for the rest of my lifetime. And I've been able to achieve this, this, and this, and I'm ready to put it to rest and just like, relax for the rest of my life. But if I retire and I get to the point where I'm like, yeah, but there's still shit I want to do. Yeah. Then would you even consider that retirement? I mean, I think- Like you're reti it's not so much you're going into retirement. You're just retiring one thing to start another thing. I mean, for right. me, I'm the kind of person who I just need to be doing something. Yeah, same. You know, I, I, I need to be doing something, you know, mm. like luckily enough, I'm in a position where I am comfortable you know, financially to be stable, which mm. is, I guess, what I thought I'd spend my entire life working towards. Mm. And I, you know, lucky in a position where I'm lucky that I'm like, okay, I am stable and my parents are stable and my family's stable. Um, so I'm like, if I were to like, when I reach retirement age, mm. whenever that age is, I still think I'd be doing something. Yeah. You know, I still like, Right now, it's all about- Put that okay. dog in you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right now, right now it's all about, okay, everything I do needs to like, have like, you know, longevity. needs to be, needs to give me longevity mm. to hopefully set the way for the future. So I am stable 10, 20 years from mm -hmm. now. So there's still like a part of my mind where everything I do needs to build towards a foundation. Yes. Retirement to me means that foundation is set. I do not need to worry mm. and I can focus on doing shit that does not, mean anything in the grandest scheme. Yeah, because like, for example, like my dad went into retirement this year, mm -hmm. uh, a few months ago. And I was like, oh, congrats, dad. You know, you finally retired. You can, you know, get out of this whole IT sales thing he's been doing for 30 plus years of his life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, so what are you going to do? Like, like, what's your what's your retirement plan? And he dead ass just looks at me and he's like, I want to drive a bus. <laughs> and I'm like, dad, you that's not retirement. You're just changing jobs at that point. Like why, like, cause I think in his mind, it was like, it's not so much like, oh, I'm still in the workforce or like I'm going back to work. It's just mm. something for him to do during the week. Yeah. yeah. But I feel, you know, it's still technically a job, right? Yeah. Being a bus driver, it, even if it may not necessarily be a nine to five, you yeah. know, five days a week type of job. It's still something you're obligated to go and do and you get money to do it, right? So I'm like, I almost don't count that as retirement. I, I just count that as like, I think retirement for me is when it's like, okay, the things I'm going to do after all of my actual Obli ob obligatory work well, stuff. Well, it's when is like done. the burden of having to provide is kind of gone. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I- And how I, you spend yeah, your yeah. time doesn't necessarily generate money or there's no like obligation to, to do it. Like, yeah. It, yeah. you know, like I'm sure like, you know, I'll still be making like YouTube videos just like casually after I like quote, <laughs> Joey unquote, as a granddad. retire, right? Like, you know, maybe maybe that will never stop. Who yes. knows? Like I could be in my eighties and I'll still be like, you know, I still really want to make this video. Who knows? We don't know. Cause YouTube yeah. hasn't gone on for long enough to get to that point. Yeah, I, I'd like to get to my arc where like, my, like I just I have a YouTube channel where all I do is like, right boys, I got to fix the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about remodeling this room. Basically, a, basically, so let's go through the, yeah, let's go basically through that the content that like Felix has been doing as of late, yeah. you know, yeah. to like- Did he do a video where he like installed the TV? Yeah, <laughs> like he's, uh, to him, he's made his money. He's good, yeah. right? But he's still making those videos, not because he's like, I need to put up this video to make money to feed my family. It's more so mm. just like, I just want to do it yeah. regardless of what it does, right? That's the stage I want to reach. Yeah. The I don't give a fuck what I need to post stage. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I'd argue I'm already at that point, but <laughs> but but it's like for me, retirement is just like it's a combination of like, do I have enough money where everything I do after this point may not necessarily generate any amount of money whatsoever, but I'll still do it. Mm, yeah. Or is it like to the point of like, there is still something I want to do that I can turn into this big financial thing that will like still support me and still be bringing in money. Mm. Right? And it's like, it's, I feel there's like no age for that. It's just kind of at the point where you have to just kind of self reflect and being like, all right, am I there yet? Like, is there, have I done everything I want to do? Do I have enough money in the bank? You know, is my life steady and happy to welcome, you know, my inevitable death? Like when yeah. when all of the stars have lined up, that's when I feel I can be like, all right, you know what? I'm comfortable to retire now. Are you, you say retirement uh, is just the point where you can just pursue all of the hobbies that you'd wanted to pursue. I, retirement is just like end credit games. Like that's, <laughs> you know, it's that, like- That's it, post game. Yeah, it's post game. <laughs> that's what all retirement is. It's just like, I can keep doing my shit, but I know at the end of the day, I've already got to the credits. Like there's no obligation Bro, give me for me a new to game it. plus. Yeah. I want a new game plus. Let me start it. That's over. called reincarnation actually. <laughs> there's some things I look forward to, but I also equally feel bad that I think like, I know it doesn't matter. Uh, not that it doesn't matter, but it doesn't have like, you know, it's not my life, whatever, but mm, yeah. I feel bad that a lot of like where most people are at right now, they can't even like consider retirement, let yes, alone like course. saving for yeah. it. And I, you know, cause I think we, we get excited when we're like, yeah, I wonder what we're going to do with when we retire and mm. do what we're going to do it. And I, I feel bad when I'm like, when you hear about people who are like, man, I got to work two jobs. The thought of retiring is not even an option. Right. Like, I, I can't, I can't ever do shit. Uh, and I, I hope that whatever happens in the world that it gets easier for people to be able to consider retiring mm. and, and do it. Cause the age of retirement is rising in every country. It is, mm -hmm. it, it is. Uh, God, every... especially Japan, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck, can you, can you like, if you are somebody who joins the workforce in like the, like this, this like decade, can you even like consider retiring? Like, can you even like, can you genuinely get to the end of your career and be like, ah, oh, yes, I can live off the, the retirement money. Like, I don't think most people can even do that now. Like, I think that's, and yeah, also- I mean, you'd have to be like, I'd say like living a pretty frugal retirement at that stage, yeah. right? Like, cause you're only so limited to what- you Yeah, most people can't live make. off yeah, the, like the most people, retirement. Yeah, like, you pension. know, like Japan and like America with like 401ks and shit, like in pensions in Japan and shit, like, you know, they give you options to be able to like save up for that retirement. But, you know, maybe you'd be in a position where your job isn't paying you enough or, the lifestyle you're living is like cutting into your, uh, you know, you're spending mm. too much and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That to the point where it just makes it more difficult to yeah. welcome that stage. And, right? and a lot of people don't even make it to the retirement age. Uh, yeah. In Japan, they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they certainly do. But Japan, Japan countries, are very yeah. good at making them uh, make it to retirement age. It's oh, like yeah. better or worse for this. It's getting yeah. close to is it? It's getting close to seventy in some European countries, and it's like right. a lot of people mm. just don't make it to seventy. Mm. And even if they do, like you know, maybe they have a few years <coughs> left. And it's like what is the what even is retirement anymore? Yeah. Like, is, is retirement even going to be a concept that is like afforded to everyone, or is it going to be yeah something that only rich people can can think about? I mean, it should be rewarded to everyone, you know. To yeah. be honest, but mm. yeah, just yeah. some countries it makes it difficult. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it is like one of the happiest moments in my life, at least, uh, was being able to give my dad his retirement. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because my dad <clears throat> had me very, very late in his life and has been like fucking giga Chad, working his ass off to provide for me his entire yeah. life. Mm. Uh, especially since my mom has had a lot of health issues in her life as well. Yeah. So a lot of it stemmed from my dad having to, you know, put the hours in. Uh, and there was a point when I quit for YouTube that he did not know if he was going to be able to retire yeah. because I'm an only child and I don't have any brothers or sisters to uh, prop up the family. It was yeah, all on me yeah. basically. So my dad went through like massive, massive fucking stress. Uh, he passed retirement age and he kept working because I still like hadn't, let's say like made it then. Mm. Um, and you know, he kept working his ass So he, he was waiting for you to kind of, I suppose, have money to give to him, is that? No, 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 he was waiting until I was stable enough. To oh, he didn't want to quit just in case, hey, God needs some help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That makes sense, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you know, I was just trying to clarify. Yeah, because he always wants to, like, I remember him telling me once, that uh, at one point he was like, I guess uh, he just had accepted that he would just be working until like he passed away. Mm. Uh, and uh, you know, that, that fucking hit me when I heard it. So I was like, fuck, I really, 
really, really want to make this work, not mm. just obviously for myself, but because I want to give my dad mm. his retirement. And, yeah. you know, the I, I, I will never forget the moment where, I, you know, I was able to like say, hey, dad, we're financially stable. And that was the moment where I kind of like, you know, said that we've paid off the mortgage for the family house that we've been paying off as a family for mm. like years and years. Uh, and then you could like for like, I, I saw like the strings of tension, just like, just like mm, completely mm. like cut Snap, off. Yeah. Just it, everything snapped and years of- Anime titties are in dad. Hey, let's go. <laughs> they said yeah. I wouldn't be able to make a career off of it. <laughs> now I have, look at them now. Yeah. And uh, I, my dad just literally just like collapsed on the sofa. And that's, I hope my dad didn't mind me telling the story, but like that's the first time I like has ever, have ever seen like my dad like shed a tear. Aww. And I was just like, holy shit. This is this this is what I've been working for, mm. and now I'm like, okay, I'm I'm satisfied. I'm happy with my life now. I'm I'm happy. I'm like monk mode activated. I am satisfied with what I've achieved, and anything else now is a bonus and a new journey for me. Mm. I take it back. Ballet doesn't get you the most risk. Paying your parents' <laughs> retirement—that's what gets you the most risk. That's yeah. the ultimate move. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad my dad can enjoy his retirement fully now, even though he was mm. working way harder than he should have been for a person his age. So, so, how, you, man. so yeah. how is your dad spending his retirement? Learning guitar, actually. He's, he Hell wakes yeah. up and he learns guitar and yeah, uh, just reading books. And I'm like, that's what I want. Fuck that's yes. what I want. <laughs> my, my dad's retired. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? He works. Oh, he works? <laughs> so he, he hasn't retired? Well, he found, oh, no, no, he doesn't work. He just helps people build stuff. Oh, so he kind of, he's kind of, he's not. And now he's, now he's like remodeling the house. Oh, that's they keep awesome. sending me updates. It literally, the house looks like a hurricane hit it. Uh, <laughs> they, re, they get an open plan. Hell yeah! Every, as every house, remodeling, <laughs> remodeling of a house. Here. Yep. Yes. Uh, so yeah, he's 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 doing a lot of that. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm jealous. My dad just knows how to do stuff. Yeah. He's like, yeah, oh, this, oh, the plumbing's broken. Oh yeah, I know how to fix it. Like, how? How do you know how to fix it? Who taught you this? Why did not Why wasn't I taught this? Yeah, do you, ever, do you ever feel like there's life skills that people just know and you're like, where did people learn this from? Yeah, I mean, any, anything yeah. to do with like just fixing everything. Yeah, use, like, any skill involving any tools for, to fix something, I'm just like, how, where, who taught you this? For me, it's cars. Like anything to do with cars. <laughs> like I, I remember one time I had this, uh, I was in like Ireland, in Ireland with Sydney. Um, and then, you know, we had a rental car and we were just driving around. Uh, it broke down, yeah. like in the middle of Ireland, and I was like, "What do what do people what do you do? <laughs> what, what what am I supposed to Guess do?" Guess I'll now? die. <laughs> I'm like, I, I know maybe I'm supposed to call the AA. Does the AA exist here? Do we need insurance? What yeah. uh what what is the process? And I because I just realized I had just never been taught this, or I had never been taught how to change a flat tire. If you if I'd like mm. ever had a if if you ever got a flat tire. In, in the middle of the road, mm. right? And I was just like, I, I I am just so unequipped with this life skill that people, I think people are supposed to know. I have just never experienced it. Yeah. Well, counterpoint. Yes. I think that's because there's this whole level of information that is like stuff you should know, but you don't need to know them now because in two seconds, you can watch a YouTube video on how to do it. Right. Like mm. I think learning how to change a tire. Yes, you should know how to do that without having to do it. But I think the reason why people don't feel so pressed to learn it is because yeah. if it happens, and let's say you have all the, the gear with you, you're like, all right, well, let's watch the YouTube video. Hopefully it's a good tutorial. And you can just watch someone explain it. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Uh, and even if I knew how to do something like change a tire, I think I would just watch the video just to be like, I need to make sure yeah. that I don't <laughs> fuck this up. True. Do you know how to change a tire? Uh, I think if you gave it to me, I think I could do it. <laughs> I think yeah, I, I, th I think <laughs> that sounds yeah. so confident. I know, like I, I think it's the kind of thing where, like, if I was with like a friend of mine who was shitting themselves, I would lie about it and be like, "Yeah, yeah I know what I'm doing." Because yeah, I'm, I'm always I'm, that guy. I'm, yeah, whenever yeah. someone is like freaking out, I'm like, "Yeah, of course I know what I'm doing," and I'm like, "Yeah, I, have no yeah, idea I don't know the details, but I know like the basic steps." I'm like WikiHow. You listen, know, yeah, like listen, I'm just like, you I don't got the want basic this to happen steps. with me. That yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think I could wing it. No, no, I think no. Because the thing is, the thing is, I had to, I had to be that guy. So I'm explaining it. I'm explaining because Sydney's like, she's like, I don't know what to do. I yeah, I'm explaining my internal thoughts because what happens is we break we break down. We break down in the middle of the road, and Sydney's like, uh, "What do we do?" And it's, uh, I, I'm like, "Don't worry, Sydney, I got it." 
Let me check. Let me check what's going on. I get out of the car. <laughs> I walk around and I'm like, it's broken. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just acting like I do, so Sydney doesn't fucking panic because we're in yeah, we're in a yeah. country we don't live in. We know we don't nobody here. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let me let me just check the engine. Let me just check the water. I have no idea what that means. You, just, you're basically <laughs> just staring at the engine for 20 <laughs> seconds, like I, literally, I, I literally, think I know. I literally open up the hood and I'm like. When we when when I was with my dad, he would always check the water. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what that really means. I'm just going to check the water level. And then I open up the hood. I check the water level and I just start googling shit. <laughs> <laughs> just I was just like, I was just like making the shit that's up what I would do. as uh, as I went on. Um Yeah, I mean I think there's a lot of information that we aren't taught because everyone just I think assumes that uh, you'll be able to figure it out. Yeah. Like and I think <laughs> that stuff like that is like that. Yeah. Also I think that like the fact that at least in the UK and I think the US and whatever, I think they don't teach you anything about how to be responsible with your money. This is like the one that always comes up, right? Taxes yeah. and all that. Mm. The fact that we aren't taught any of that is wild to me in yeah. any oh, yeah. capacity. Cause I'm like, that is some shit we all have to deal with. And it fucks you in the ass if you don't do it yeah. right. You get fucked for life, you fuck up those bills. Like, I never yeah. knew how to do my taxes or get a fucking mortgage or like any of that no, shit. No, I don't know any of that like, shit. I yeah. wish someone taught me that shit. Yeah, I, I, I wish someone told me that. Now I'm shit. flailing well, around like an I idiot. I actually think we should be taught. Like, yeah. It's not like Google. Like that, that yes. we definitely need to be taught. Like, <laughs> hey, uh, just because credit cards say they give you money, uh, there's a lot of bad things that could happen if you fuck it up. Yeah. So maybe don't use the credit card. Yeah. Yeah. You really, 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 really think you can handle it? Like that was never taught to me. I didn't even know what the difference between a credit card and a debit card was till I was like like 19 or 20. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't, I've been using this for two years. I still don't know what the yeah, fuck it yeah. is. If, if something breaks in your house, do you know who to call? Yeah, if, if my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think a legit would be like, "Hey, dad, do you think this is like a serious thing or a thing I, I should fix?" Yeah, yeah. I asked him. Man. Where, do, where do you think our dads learn it from? Do you think they're just making this shit up? As because I I don't feel like that. I don't feel like, I like they are. I like I've, to think <laughs> that every time some shit breaks down in my house and I call my dad and I'm like, "Yeah, dad, so I got this problem. He's Googling uh, it. What can you do?" He's like, "Yeah, hold on, son, let me check." And he just opens his phone and looks because, it up. Because I've never asked my dad who taught him. Yeah. But all I know is that he never taught me. Yeah. Or at least he never taught me all the intricacies and or everything that he knows. Yeah. You know. So I'm like. Where the fuck did he learn it from? Uh, it's just like, they weren't, wasting, it's probably. they weren't wasting their damn time learning these liberal arts courses. <laughs> they were learning how to ride trucks in and out. Yeah, because you know when I, you know when I eventually have a kid, when it, whether if it's a son or a daughter, I'm sure they're gonna ask me about stuff, right? Yeah. You're, you're gonna reach that point in your life where your your kid's gonna ask you about stuff, uh, and you're gonna have to pretend like you know what the fuck's going on. Well, it's like I, maybe the kid will be like, "Hey, hey, Dad, how do you uh, install the server or something to this thing?" And you'll be like, "Well," I'm, and he's gonna be like, "How the fuck does my dad know how to do this?" It's like, well, you just had to learn it when you were then, like, right? Yeah. I think that's just like, like we have to, we had to just learn everything about the internet and, and using it. Yeah. I'm sure to our whatever the kids that come along, they'll be like, "How the fuck do they know all this stuff?" Yeah, sure. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. How do, how do they use the sponsor of today's video? Especially <laughs> <laughs> it'd be funny if it's actually sponsored. How, yeah. do, they, how do they make a clickbait title? Yeah. How, how do they, how do they, they just they, know that? Yeah, I'm sure it's like it's just a, uh, something that we you just grow up learning, and then it seems like crazy because they had like 40 years worth of knowledge yeah. mm. that occasionally comes in handy. Right. Who taught you guys how to shave? I knew you were going to ask. My this. Dad. I had a feeling about this. Yeah. I had the sixth sense that you're going to bring. Did, it. Okay. Was it okay? I taught myself. Really? My dad told and me. And I fucked it up for a very long time. My dad time. told me and I fucked it up. <laughs> uh, was, okay, so your dad told you. Yeah. Did you have to like ask him, father, teach me how to shave? Or was there like a, was there like a day where your, your dad no, came my, to you? My dad just said, y your face looks like a toothbrush. Let's fucking get rid of that shit. <laughs> And then he was like, he took me to the, the bathroom sink and he was like, all right, I'm gonna teach you how to <laughs> shave. Oh, that's awesome. And then he was like, all right, bring a roll of toilet paper because you're probably gonna cut yourself multiple times, yeah. which I did. Yes. And I then I still cut myself sometimes. Yeah. Days. And then yeah. and then after maybe he 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 was with me, you know, to make sure I was like doing it correctly, maybe like two or three times. And then yeah. at one point I was like, Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Figured it out. So I like just brute forced it. I'll right, <laughs> figure this shit out. God damn. I don't, I still don't think I've perfectly figure this out because I guess like when you're like, I had to go to my dad to ask him. Mm. I was like, hey dad, how do you <laughs> shave? And he never looked like more happy and excited <laughs> like that. He's just like, oh, oh, I get I get a father son moment. Uh, but then he, he taught me, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry to call you out 
call you out for this, Dad, but he taught me that, okay, you, yeah, I mean, you can use shaving cream. Uh, soap's fine as well. Actually, and so, and, and so for my entire life, I've just like never, and you guys figure this out when I was shaving, when we were like on holiday, yeah. but I've never like used shaving cream for most of my life. That's I've just fucked. used, I've just used shower and, gel. And the, fact that you're, <laughs> and, and the fact that your skin is like impeccable is just like not fair. <laughs> hey man, maybe my dad was onto something. I, I don't know. I know, you, I know in desperate situations, I've used conditioner. <laughs> what? Yeah, conditioner works as well. Really? Cause it's just about having like, a, I think it's like a, a, just a barrier, right? You just need something in the way that's smooth and that you can yeah. still shave through. If I don't have the option, then I just don't shave. I'm just like, I'll wait till I'm actually- Yeah, but I, I, I look homeless looking. if I don't sometimes. I look homeless with or without it, so yeah, it doesn't really yeah. matter for me. <laughs> Gamers, this episode is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. I mean, they probably even threw in a free phone or two, but now you can't even get off of it. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills like overages and surprise fees. And look, if that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's probably time to get off that ride and join Mint Mobile. Because for a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. Yes, you heard that correctly. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just $15 a month. Listen, I know better than anyone just how much these mobile bills absolutely stack up, especially while I was living back in Australia and I didn't know any better about mobile services. I didn't realize I was getting ripped off, but luckily it's services like Mint Mobile that help you realize you might possibly be getting ripped off and it's probably time to jump ship to something better. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash trash. That's mintmobile.com slash trash. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash trash. Links in the description below. Thank you to Mintmobile for sponsoring today's video. Back to the episode. I have this weird hypothetical. Okay. Okay. And this is something I was, I've was i been thinking about all week because sure. I've been playing Final Fantasy 16. Hell right? yeah. Right? I, I knew you were gonna bring that up. Great fucking game, <laughs> right? But one thing I noticed while playing Final Fantasy 16, right? Is that like, so to explain to you, oh no, you've played the demo, right? I've played four hours of it. Yeah. So you know that it's like kind of gone back to the whole like medieval setting, yes. right? Of like, you know, kind of the Renaissance-y type of uh, setting. Yeah, um, just Britain. Um, yeah, just basically Britain <laughs> in 16 hours. Everyone's fucking British. Yeah, they are. I love it. But like one thing, right? That I thought about while playing uh, 16, right? Is that like, when you go to like, a random village. And this is not just in Final Fantasy. This is like in any RPG that's set in like the, you know, old British yeah. setting, right? And you go to like a random ass village and there's the village elder, mm -hmm. right? Who's like usually like pretty senile, you know, like yeah. maybe like 70, 80, sometimes 90 yeah. years old, right? Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking to myself, I'm like, where did that stereotype come from? Cause it was like an actual thing. But was it an actual yeah, thing? Yeah, it was an actual thing. Because like, I find that hard to believe because it's like- <laughs> Wait, why? Because- what, that old people existed? <laughs> no, no, that- <laughs> I find that, okay, here's the reason why- So here's the question I had, right? Are you, are you, are you asking why is there one old guy that is the old guy? Yeah. yeah. Because people died. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing, right? It's like, that's why people I find it- make, People didn't make it to like- Dude, yeah, But that's seven, why, yeah. that's why it's like, is it even possible? <laughs> What? To get what? to that point, what, to what? be old, like no, like living <laughs> during those times. Well, it yeah. was obviously rare because but... the average age was like fucking forty. So yeah, but like people still live till like seventy, pretty often. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, you pretty often. I think you just answered your own question. Why it's a stereotype? <laughs> because you know, of course, if you live to like especially, seventy, you're like yo. I just find that hard to believe. Especially in like you know maybe at a village of a hundred people. Yeah. You know, odds are people would die. I mean, what, yeah. what, what age? What what period are we talking of time? Like, like let's say like let's go back to like thirteen hundreds. Yeah, I mean, odds are people weren't like what was the? Can you Google what the average age? Yeah. Was? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like during the dark sure... ages, the average age was probably like thirty. Uh, uh, no, it was like forty. No, yeah, it was like forty. Okay, not much. But that better. that was yeah. mainly because of like child mortality as well. Yeah. Right. Infant mortality was huge. Yeah, but yeah. even like, you know, the whole like fact of like, you know, the, uh, you know, medical practices weren't up to what they are now, yeah. obviously. And like, obviously people, hygiene people still was less it. of a I thing. Mean, it's like how you, you sometimes see old people now who will go to like 70 years old with zero like 
ever ever going ever need to yeah, go. Yeah, but hospital. that must have been insane. Like if you were living yeah, in there the thirteen hundreds, that's why they're the village elder and everyone and, fucking listened to them. And there were like, and there was like, <laughs> a, and if you if you were in the thirteen hundred, like dark ages in Europe, and you just went to a random village and you saw like an eighty year old, that's like the equivalent to seeing like a hundred and twenty year old today. Yeah, no, I mean, no, no. I would think. Well, I mean, it was it was like rare, but I, I mean, it wasn't that rare. But it's like it, you know, someone who had been around, who'd been in the position where they had, had been in a lot of power. Who was who was still alive? Yeah. Was, obviously, they would become someone who's respected. Yeah, I mean, at that point, everyone would be like, "I mean, he's fucking alive. He must be doing something, right?" <laughs> God, why, go on, man, listen to Why did Final, Final Fantasy make you think of this? Because <laughs> I was just thinking about. You have, you have the average age. Yeah, 33. see, thirty-three. Oh, it's it's young. Also, I mean, every they were having a war. There was always a war going on. Yeah, exactly. Well. So people, people were dying, people just killing each so other. So I was like, "How the fuck did the older survive?" Um, well, I mean, there was. I, I, okay, I mean, I don't fucking know. I don't yeah. know the exact answer, but obviously people were still, that, just because the average age is, is 33 doesn't mean people couldn't get to No, 70. no, no, yeah. I, I, but it must've been like incredibly rare. Yeah, right? I mean, people, I think you would be the village elder at like 60 at that point. Yeah. Like yeah. Even 55, yeah. You'd, like, yeah. you'd probably be the village elder. Yeah, but in all video games, they're always like fucking 90 plus. Oh, they, they probably just, just the, look that way the modern, <laughs> like the modern view of yeah, looking at right? an old man. Also, they might just look that way because they're British, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, we also <laughs> like- Well, it's also like, it's like the concept of like, why do people look older in older media? Like someone who's yeah, 16 yeah. In, in like an 80s film looks like 25 to us. Yeah. Is that like, a thing? That is a thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You, Have you ever watch noticed a, that? Watch a movie in the 80s yeah. and yeah. everyone in high school, oh, like, sorry. Well, no, sorry, not a movie, sorry. Like look at a yearbook of like the 80s. It's right. like a generic yearbook. People will just look old. But even movies as well. Like if you go back and watch like a James Dean movie, mm. right? Like mm -hmm. that dude died when he was like, what, 23, 24, something like that. But you look at it and you don't think to yourself, that's a 20 year old in that movie. That's yeah, I, like, I, he looks older than, he, I, I can believe he's 20, but yeah. he just looks okay. older to me for some he, reason. A, he, I, I remember just, Vsauce did a whole video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just pulled up a yearbook from 1980s America. Yeah. Look how old these people look. This is these are high school students. See, they look like in their twenties. <laughs> yeah, 30s. they they yeah. like they, uh, yeah. Some of them look old as shit. Yeah, it's have, like why is that? Have you ever seen your parents' pictures when they were younger? Yeah, yeah. it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do you ever get this thing where your parents tell you a story about some shit they got up to when they were, like they were kids or mm. your age and shit, and it just doesn't seem real and just it it almost seems like. They're like reciting a movie or something. When, when, well, like, I mean, it's gonna be even worse for our kids. It'd be like, so I was just online memeing Harambe. You know what I mean? Right? You know Harambe, no, right? Because here's the. And I pull my dick out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but here's like the difference. You know, when when our kids get to our age, with the, at least for us, they're gonna have like. There's gonna be a generation of kids that can see like video and photo mm. proof of all of the shit yeah. uh, and all the stupid shit that you, their parents got up to when they yeah. were like their age. But yeah. for me, for our generation, we have like one or two photos that our parents took at high school or something yeah. like that. And the rest is all anecdotal, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so when, when my aunt tells me, <laughs> you know what your mom got up to when she was 18? Let me tell you what happened uh, at this like- She blew one... up this building, it was yeah. insane. So let me tell you this about the, some antics she got up to that, one bar and I'm just like, that didn't happen. That's, there's no fuck, there, there is no way my mother did that. You know, there, there is no way. My mother- My mother unhinged? <laughs> my mother getting Hell. blackout drunk? <laughs> no, that, that doesn't happen. And then, you know, you hear these stories and it just like, it almost just doesn't feel real to you because there's no like grounded evidence to like, like prove it in your mind. See, it makes sense for your parents because I look at your parents now and they're like so well behaved and so like, you <laughs> yeah. know, on point. When I hear my parents talk about their, like the shit they got up to when they were young, I look at them now and I'm like, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> well, they also gotta be on time. I mean, the parents will never tell you the, the really wild stuff they might've done. No, of course yeah. not. Um, Cause they're afraid probably that would be like, oh, well, you know, since I did it when I was young, then it gives you an excuse to do it when you're young and I don't, I don't want my child not, to do I that. Like that. There might I'm, be some parents I'm, I'm, that I'm like that. Mom and dad. I'm, I'm asking you next time. <laughs> what? Actually, That's like conversation you have when you're like 40, they're like really old and you'd be like, all right, you're going soon. Tell me all the fucked up shit. <laughs> I'll <laughs> start. <laughs> Spill I, I, the tea. You, I've got four years left tops. Tell me. I, I think I'm actually like slowly starting to reach like that age though, because I've, I've slowly been kind of like being drip fed tea, like here and there <laughs> from like various family members oh. to be like, wait, auntie did what? 
when she was younger. Uh, yeah. Uncle was like this, and uh, yeah, it's it's slowly getting to that point for me at least. I don't think I've, I don't think I have the entire tea cup. I have like a little, there are a few, few oh, little oh, drops of tea of like crumbs. Yeah, a few little crumbs of tea <laughs> of like what's uh, what's going on. I'm just wondering, how do you think our kids are going to react when they see this dumb shit we've done on YouTube? And stuff like that. It's, it's, it, must, uh, it must be weird. I'm never showing my child my YouTube channel. You they're gonna, gonna find it, Joey. Bro, Joey, he's gonna find it. <laughs> gonna no, find I'm deleting it. that shit before no, you Joseph, want, this Joey. is your the fifth, is gonna find it. All right. Seventh, <laughs> actually. Oh shit, yeah, yeah the sixth. Oh, it, it, it doesn't go down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The accumulation of businesses. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm gonna break them all. I'm going back to the fifth. That would be hype as fuck. Like I start the lineage at my son being four and that puts so much pressure on the first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, all right, you have to deliver. So do something crazy. You got, you got, you, we got four generations to figure this shit out. Yeah. We should go back. I think this is more interesting. Go back. Yeah, it's, we literally put a timer on it. You're like, you better do something fucking cool. You're yeah. the first. I think it would be pretty hype though. I would be pretty hype if I discovered like, let's say Facebook existed back in the time. Uh, like if I just discovered a long lost Facebook of my mom when she was like in university to be like, oh, this, these are all your drunk photos and uh, all the shit you were getting up to. Okay. <laughs> I think at that point you'd have to like lock your socials up to a point until your kids are old enough to be like, like, all right, you you have you have. You're ready to see what your father was really like. <laughs> you are ready to see what your father. Your was father like. was a mess. Yeah, ready to see <laughs> how much go. of a fucking idiot your dad was. <laughs> It'd be weird when we get to the point in social media where there's like multiple generations gone by. Like I'm talking like 200 years away. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. I wonder what they were up to 200 years ago. Yeah. You can just see pictures of people getting smashed 200 years ago at a school <laughs> party. It's like, that's gonna be so fucking wild. <laughs> you can just tap into that. Yeah. Do, do you know anything about like your Great grandparents. I don't know shit. Great grandparents? No, yeah. no, yeah. nothing at all. Cause I've heard like, just like one or two stories, but yeah, it would be super interesting just to see, you get to a point in social media where you can see what your ancestors got up to, to be like- That'd be hype as fuck. <laughs> that yeah. would actually. The family trees will no longer be more mysteries. <laughs> all those TV shows about hunting down the family tree will be so less interesting. Yeah, just so actually like we found your great grandmother on Facebook. Yeah. She was kind of cringe. She posted a, a, a review of the emoji movie saying it not bad. So all, all I don't know how, how you came to be. <laughs> yeah, uh, your granddad was saying some sus things on Twitter. Yeah, yeah your, like, your granddad was in QAnon. Um, <laughs> don't worry about what that your is. Your granddad uh, was liking anime ludes. Like it's, it's <laughs> fucking weird, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be really weird. I could see uh, where you get it in your bloodline. Actually, yeah. <laughs> we've stemmed it back yeah. to this. Well, yeah, do you think yeah. there'll be services in like a hundred years that'll be like, hey, we can track down your family tree of social media. Like, yeah, we can find your great great granddad's Facebook. Yeah, or maybe. I don't know, if unless they just start deleting it. On yeah, mass. I don't know. <laughs> that that that'll be interesting. Speaking of uh, creepy fun, as fuck. Speaking speaking of fun fancy though, what uh what do you think of it? Uh it's good. Um, definitely better than fifteen. That's for sure. It's most certainly a game you would not enjoy. <laughs> uh, well, I enjoyed the first two hours and then I did another stream playing it for two hours that was sponsored and yeah. it was fine. But yeah. I, I don't know if I'm going to continue. Yeah, because- I, I want to play the other Final Fantasies first. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I, you, know, you I know you finished the other Final Fantasies? I first? I think when I went into it, I liked the fast paced combat. We well, played eight. I like the eight. Yeah, yeah I, li I like the I, the part of me as much as I hate turn-based combat. It's kind of nice sometimes. Mm. Um, really? You should play 10 next. I hate it in modern games, because I feel like it's outdated. Right. Yeah. Except in Pokemon, where it just feels like it works. Um, <laughs> so do you want to go back to like the first couple of Final Fantasy? Yeah, yeah I'm going to play some of them earlier ones, I think. Play six. Everyone says six. Yeah, that's good. I, I feel like six I should play, and I've played some of the other ones. Because yeah. like, everyone says, and all the Final Fantasy staff are like, six is the accumulation of the perfect Final Fantasy. It is. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll save that then. I don't want that right away. Okay. Because well, then, then I can never play like four. Or then, five. Yeah, then maybe yeah. play like, yeah, pl probably play four first then. I, I don't know, the, 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 ones, ones. the SNES ones seem tough to get into. Mm. They seem like it's like one of like a slog, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah, they can be. What but, uh, what didn't draw you in about this Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 16? I don't know. Cause on paper, I'm like, this is very I mean, much- I mean, it's not that I didn't draw me in. It's just, I, I think that it's a lot. Mm. And I was like, I also, I think, uh, well, I don't even know what I, I don't even know what I can say because I was sponsored by them. I don't, I don't want to get pissed off. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I did feel like it was like I could put my controller down, and then I when I had to pick it back up, I was like, oh shit, it's a game. Yeah. That was like I was like, oh fuck. No, because oh, okay. yeah, because yeah. they the the producer it's said hours of cutscenes. Yeah. yeah. I know. I love That's, it. 
<laughs> okay, now the, I now yeah. I understand. The why. producer actually said before the game came out though that this was supposedly the most cinematic. It is Final it, Fantasy. Yeah. I almost they weren't lying. I almost <laughs> like wish, and I know that there is an easy story mode, but like there was a version of it mm. that was just like a seventeen-hour show. Yeah. Yeah. that like didn't require you to put any input because I actually like, I found myself getting really into the cutscenes, and then I was like, oh shit, I gotta play. And it was fun, it was great. Yeah. But it was like, it was like, oh, I was like, I was getting confused with the fact that I was like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep playing It's the an game. actual yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really interesting. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. was, it was very, it was very interesting. because I think that it, it's, it's for me, it, I think it'll lend itself well in history as mm. being a, gr a great in-between point for the series. Yes. Yeah. I think it'll lead to like, 17 being like figuring out a formula that really works, but I don't know if, if having that many cutscenes is good for a game. I, it, I'm i torn as well, because mm. even me, I fucking love the cutscenes. I love the voice story. Is really the, the voice acting is, is so good. It's so, it's so it's It's so surreal just seeing like a JRPG without like, let's say the typical anime-esque voice actors and just <laughs> seeing like- Do you mean Xenoblade? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Joey, or any JRPG. Yeah. What are you doing, matter? mate? Just go and get the fucking blood show. <laughs> yeah. And the, and and hearing actual British voice actors, but he, he, there, are, there are like some moments in the game where um, I like the gameplay and I really, really like the story. Mm. I don't know if it wants to be a game or a movie. They sometimes. made the, yeah. the cutscenes too damn good. Yeah, yeah, they did. To the point where it's like, damn, that's the, that's like, I'm so hyped for the cutscenes that when I go in the gameplay, yeah, like I yeah. said, like it's like, oh shit, okay. Yeah. But yeah. I want more of the cutscenes. Yeah. yeah. It's it's weird because like, I really, really, for example, like Metal Gear Solid, mm -hmm. right? The Metal Gear Solid series who, that those cutscenes were so long that I could just put my controller down and just zone yeah. out for like 30 minutes. And I was like, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm totally mm -hmm. fine with that. It's so weird with Final Fantasy because the cutscenes are short enough that I still have to pay attention about the controller, but it's long enough that it kind of like breaks the flow of like the gameplay. I think yeah. the one issue I have with 16 is that like, I don't mind cutscenes in my video games as long as you're telling, you know, as long as it's for a purpose and you know, the narrative is good, which mm -hmm. so far with 16 has been great. But I think my problem with 16 right now is that like the, the I guess the switching between cutscene and playable part of the game is so, like constant yeah. where yeah. it's like, you know, there'd be moments where it's like, okay, you get out of a, you enter a village. There's a cutscene mm. that like explains the village and the main quest. And then you walk for 15 seconds mm. and then another cutscene plays. And then you walk another 15 seconds and then another cutscene plays where it's yeah. like, yeah. I think so I would just, just prefer it where it's like, yeah, just yeah, give yeah, me yeah. one <laughs> long cutscene and yeah. then yeah. one long gaming session and then I'll be good. I, I also, yeah. I, I like it, but I don't know how to feel about it. I like the uh, active law button. Where yeah, you can just, you're like, love that. you're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on in the story. Let me hold down this button, and yeah. then it brings up a menu that'll sh that you can it'll you can move your like cursor over it, and it'll tell you about what this oh, concept is, or what this faction is, or who you have to be is. careful with that because I heard, it spoils some stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard from people like especially near like the last ten percent of the game, that part just straight up has spoilers in it. I believe it. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, so I've been trying to avoid it as much as possible. I mean, I think it's a game changer. Because especially yeah. at the beginning, where they just introduce you to all of all of these like countries and mm. people and uh, characters, and, and I'm like, I can't remember who the fuck this. Yeah, this and then there's is. time skips and yeah. stuff, and you're like, yeah. okay, this is. It's like being thrown into Game of Thrones at like, uh, like. It, well, I mean, actually being thrown into Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, but because you're just like, what the hell is happening? But yeah. in Game of Thrones, you have the time to go through all of it mm, and yeah. kind of, and I feel like they maybe, you know, maybe the storytelling is a little bit more, they introduce things a little bit better. Mm, and Final yeah. Fantasy, the one thing I did with the new one I found to struggle with was that there was, there was too much stuff that mm. I was trying to keep track of and I didn't quite understand. I, I, uh, and that's why the active law button felt necessary. Yeah. Whereas I feel like it shouldn't be necessary, mm. but a nice little thing if I want to refresh. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of the time I found myself having to do it. I think the active law thing though, is definitely a, a good step in direction of like explaining law within without having the story. these like bullshit pages. <laughs> yeah. The level. Without having to like go to system and like go into go like the log and shit to be like, here's like a fucking drop down I, menu of everything, you know, where it's actually, like- Actually, I, I, I'm actually that guy. Fuck's sake. Why? <laughs> okay, so- Why do you when, hate yourself? When, when, because I was genuine, like, 
when I, uh, one one of the reasons I fucking love Final Fantasy 16 is because like the world genuinely, genuinely- interesting. It's great, yeah. No, it's, it's great. great. It's fucking it's, great. It's and I just wanted yeah. to be immersed. So as soon as like, there's a character in like your hideout that basically has like, the, is the law keeper mm. and that like has all of the wiki articles. And I literally just wasted, I think in like an hour and a half when that opened up, just like reading, <laughs> just like the reading, law, everything, yeah. reading everything, just so I can just immerse myself in what was going mm. on. I, uh, I, I don't know, I, I think my biggest problem with it so far, I'm about like 20 hours in at the time of recording. Uh, there just hasn't been a character that I have fallen really, in love with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally in a JRPG, I fall in love with the cast and the, the dynamics and, you know, just spending time with these characters. But so far there just hasn't been, like the, the characters haven't called out to me yet. I mean, I did opinion. have one, but- uh he didn't last long. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean- Without I, giving spoilers. I, I just feel like there hasn't been enough, let's say like the main story, I, I feel like the biggest weakness of Final Fantasy has actually been so far the side quests. Mm. Cause side quests- Yeah, the I, side quests for this one are a little bit boring. Yeah, the side quests for me in like, especially in JRPGs is a great way to just, to just ignore the story, ignore the main story for a bit and just flesh out these characters hanging out together yeah. and um, just, uh, exp exploring like and expanding the world, mm, mm. giving you the opportunity to learn about the the world and the characters organically. Yeah, and all of the side quests so far has just been fetch quest, and there's been it's no like pick up dirt. Yeah, pick up oh, dirt. No, Go a, find this oh, person. No, it's the Assassin's Creed style. Yeah, it is. kill yeah. pig or kill uh, yeah, these kill dragons. five crabs. And it's just like, like I don't get anything more from doing these side quests than yeah. if I had not done it. Yeah. So it's just been like the main story for me. And the main story is great, but the main story so far has not given me enough time with these characters, enough banter, enough mm. just natural chemistry for me to like get attached to like the whole cast. And I don't know if that's gonna change. Mm. I hope it does. Uh, but that's like my biggest gripe with Final Fantasy 16. How many so Final far. Fantasy games have you played? Uh, I have finished zero Final Fantasy games. <laughs> I've played a lot. I've played a lot. How many have you played and not finished? Uh, seven, eight, nine. That's gotta be a crime. That ten, is, a, I'm, I'm crying uh, <laughs> hearing this. Yes, I, I think I got, I think, yeah, 10. Uh, I've started FF7 Remake. Mm. I haven't finished that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you have to, you have to you, see through to you, the you end. You have bro. a problem. You realize that, I, I right? Finish your goddamn game. Fuck God. sake, bro. I just, I, I don't know. Are you gonna finish 16? I think I am. I think I, because oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not counting on it. I'm not counting on it, bro. On it, bro. The, the, biggest, the biggest thing that gets me to stop playing. Bro, bro read like 1000 chapters of One Piece and thought, I'm done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, sorry, I dropped yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the, I mean, the biggest thing that has stopped me from finishing it is turn-based combat. And, uh, cause I just get bored. I, I get bored doing turn-based combat. Uh, and you know, especially in the older games, you have to spend a lot of hours grinding out the turn-based combat. And mm. then I just go, I just get to a point where I get bored and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna take a break from the game, take a break and then never come back. Uh, yeah. And with 16, because I really fucking like the gameplay, I, I, I will probably like stick through it. It's probably gonna be my first Final Fantasy game I finish. <laughs> Wait, so I've beat more Final yeah, Fantasy games than you? That's, yeah. that's so you funny. Have. That's so that's funny. So, so, yeah. I, I mean, uh, yeah, I think that's just how we d consume games differently. I like to binge. I like to just mm. destroy a game in one go and yeah. be like, I'm done. Yeah. And I feel satisfied that way because before I even get a chance to be like, I'm bored of this, I'm done. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can only play like eight hours maximum in a day before my mind turns into like mush. And I just like, I need to like step away I from it. Like, my mind turns to mush at like 14 hours in. Right. But then I can keep going. I can keep going, but I, it doesn't feel good. For me, it depends on the game. Like I could, uh, there could be some games where I'm like, this is just like a couple of hours type of thing. And then I gotta wait, I, I gotta, you know, save it for tomorrow. And then there's games like 13 Sentinels where it's like, if I spend any time away from this game, I'm going to forget everything about this law <laughs> <laughs> because it's so fucking confusing. I need to I binge that game in three days, bro. It's I need a 30 to hour game. And I bet you remember nothing about it. No, I remember a decent amount of it. <laughs> only because like for those Say, three days, I just, <laughs> because, only because for those three days, it's all I was fucking thinking about. <laughs> yeah. And it's a fucking fantastic story. It's, it's great, it's great. Yeah. There's there's just a lot. I, I needed a day to process some of the like plot twists in that game. Are you the type of motherfucker in 13 Sentinels that went to like the encyclopedia section? Of course I did, <laughs> man, of course. That, that is literally like the, 
the <laughs> when you describe doing that to me, I'm like, that's like just being like, you know, I just enjoy castration. It's just fun. Okay, no, okay. It's like, it's like it's, I can't imagine anything more fucking unfun in my life than opening up an encyclopedia. I have to game. read? Ew. No, because it, there's, okay. I like, I'm that Sell motherfucker. Okay, I'm that motherfucker. If there is a, like, let's say a TV series that I really, really fucking enjoy. Mm. I'm that motherfucker who's like, I will watch like an hour YouTube video breaking down the lore of shit that happened before the story take like took place, you know? Mm. I, I love, if if I'm like emotionally invested in something, I want to know as much of the world as possible because it just helps immerse me in the story that's being told. Mm. See, uh, I feel though that only becomes gratifying when you make it to the end. <laughs> What do you mean? Yeah, you gotta finish the goddamn You game. gotta finish the, if you're you're so focused on finding out like what happened to these characters and this world and the setting before the game took place, but you didn't never see it to the end. No, no, it's like, like, to, okay, you're to like me, you, you don't care about how it resolves. What percentage of the, like in these games did you drop out? We didn't like 10% in, 50% in. What do like, you mean? Like with the Final the Fantasy Final games, yeah, like, how, like how, how far, far in were you, were you before you dropped it? Uh, about fifty percent, I think. Fuck it out. That's crazy. I don't. I, to, That's to, crazy. To be fair, to be fair, I didn't so far drop it. I just never finished. You it. no no no. no, no, no you dropped, dropped it. it. Bro, I, I yeah, just, Hunter, just, Hunter. Just, it's, it's, just, it's definitely just, not I dropped. Never for me, it. for my my rule of thumb is if I'm not invested in the game by around 30 percent of the way through, I don't see it to the end. I feel 20, 30% is like a kind of a good time to get a good indication of like, is this game even worth finishing? I, I don't, I mean, I, for me, it's like hours. It's like, I, if, I, if I'm not, if I'm not hooked an hour and 30 minutes in, I'm done. Right. An hour, an hour and 30 which minutes is, nothing is in uh, like 10% yeah. of the tutorial in like JRPGs. Yeah. No, I know, which is why I always struggle. Cause it's like, I just don't know if this is worth investing and I'm not, interested in spending 10 hours figuring out if yeah. I should be invested. No, for me, but it that's, takes that's, me like minimum 10 hours for JRPG yeah, to be like, am I invested enough in the story Yeah, characters? that's what sucked though. Cause when I played yeah. eight, I, I, I wouldn't have, there's no shot I would have stuck with it if I if I spent an hour playing it. Cause I yeah. was like, yeah. this game you is- You don't know anything in this game. This game, and I think every Final Fantasy does this. They yeah. just throw a bunch of menuing at you. Mm. And they're like, oh, this is this, this is this. And you're like, this is a ridiculous amount of information to ask someone <laughs> to take in yeah. uh, and, and just through like explanations. And it's like, yeah. none of this makes fucking sense. You, mm. And it's like, you guys are insane for thinking that someone would sit 10 hours through this to, to do it. And, and people do obviously, but I'm like, it's, I'm it's fucked that they design a game that is just not fun for 10 hours. And then that, then you're like, okay, but now it's Fun great. is subjective. Yeah. Fun is subjective. I find it fun yeah. learning new mechanics. I mean, yeah. I, I, I found it fun when I got the hang of it, but it's crazy. And I, I mentioned this when we played initially, but like, it's crazy that I felt like I got the hang of it like yeah. 20 hours in. That's insane. Did you enjoy the story of eight? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah. I thought it was fun. Okay. I thought it was okay. What's what, What's the general consensus of the story of seven? Isn't it like the, it's, the best one? It's great. It's great? Yeah, I don't think it's the best Final Fantasy in my opinion, but. I think it's a very, very solid I, I th entry. I, I thought Sephiroth was like the villain in all of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, I seven, and I realized yeah. he, he was only in seven because, yeah. but then for some reason he was just the poster boy for Final Fantasy villains. Yes, because to a lot of people, yeah. seven was their first Final Fantasy because it was the first 3D Final Fantasy. Yeah, I've, I was, I'm, I'm having like, it, Roblox it's it's been characters. Yeah. <laughs> with their egg beater hands. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just like have this, shit, I have this like, fucking ingrained in my head and I can't stop thinking about it. And I've been thinking about it the entire conversation we've been talking about it. So this TikTok of someone with like Zephyroth hair like dancing and it's like yeah. Zephyroth when he like kills your entire family. It's him like twerking and like flail flailing his hair around. I'm like, I can't stop thinking about this. Well, that's, why, that's why I'm so glad Seven got the remake because like it is in my, in my opinion, the original seven is like close to unplayable because it's oh. just, because it's got a great fucking story and the combat system is great, but I just can't get over the graphics now. I, I actually am having huge fucking, uh, huge fucking trouble playing through the remake. Really? Yeah. I think the remake's fucking Cause I, fantastic. Cause like, I, I remember playing Final Fantasy seven yeah. like, when I was a kid. I don't remember fuck. I remember I all fuck I know about, about it is it. that there's like, they go to a, like a strip club or something. Yeah. That's all I know about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I know about it. Yeah, they but, do. But like, I'm, I think I'm like noticing about them because like, I don't know. I'm, I'm playing, th I'm playing through the remake. I'm mm. about like 10, 12 hours is in it, right now. Isn't it like going to be three games as yeah, well? Yeah, it's going to be three games. games. Oh, that's fucked. When, when do you start liking the characters? <laughs> I'm just going to be straight up, man. I am just going to be straight I up. That. When, I love when that. do you start liking the characters? 
Well, I feel for a lot of people, there's a nostalgia factor playing the remakes, yeah. right? Like at least for me, I had it like, you know, when I saw like, fuck, you know, you know, when fucking, uh, you know, when you first see Cloud and everything, you're like, there's that motherfucker. There's that motherfucker I've already spent hundreds of hours so far, with. So far, Cloud's to me like has got as much characterization as your general Isekai protagonist. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, when does Cloud I become can't interesting? I can Cloud Strife copied from Kirito. Like, was, <laughs> wow, the absolute audacity of Square Enix to do that. And like, and like Tifa so far has just been the childhood friend. Hey, don't like, bad mouth Tifa. She's my fucking waifu. Okay, right? like, Why just, is she everyone's actually, waifu? No, you Okay, I like, like Yuffie. Yuffie's well, I'm, I'm just like, I don't think Yuffie's been introduced yet, but like the, but the only right, motherfucker- Wait till Yuffie comes out. Uh, the, the only <laughs> motherfucker I like so far is Barrett. And I'm just like- Yeah, but everyone likes Barrett. I'm just okay. Cause he seems like he has a personality. He's like Jet. <laughs> <laughs> from yeah. Cowboy Bebop, yeah, it's is. like, you just automatically love him. He is, I don't, and I'm just like, cause I remember going into this being like, this is the classic. Everyone loves this Final Fantasy. Yeah, man. This is gonna be a banger. I love JRPGs and I'm just like, when do when do the characters get interesting? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm waiting, I'm 10 hours in. Normally just, I'm normally I'm hooked now on the JRPG. Just, just wait till Yuffie comes out and you'll be hooked. I can't right. stop thinking about Sephiroth twerking. You, I'm, I'm <laughs> listening to you talk and it's all I hear about. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, it's just like, I know it's like a super serious story as well. And I'm just imagining yeah. him twerking. And, and, when I, and if I play the game, all, all I'm yeah. gonna be able to think about is that. Yeah, but Sephiroth doesn't come out until like way, way, way later. Gen yeah. Okay, genuinely though, what, 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 what draws you to like Cloud and Tifa? Um, I think because I've played all the other Final Fantasies and I've played a lot of JRPGs that were just like, yeah. had the why most why, why didn't you, unlikable why, why didn't you come to JRPG man? <laughs> I already am. Why didn't you choose that name? Because it's shit. <laughs> Not good SEO. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, and then I'll get to the point where I'll just start playing I hate like- I guys. Yeah. I'm only playing Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm only now. playing first person shooters now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's because like, I, look, it's in my opinion, like, you know, like uh, Cloud and Tifa and like that whole gang is like, they're, I think they're a solid cast of characters. I'm not gonna say they're the best cast of characters. Who though. is no. the best cast of characters in a Final Fantasy game? In a Final Fantasy game? I would just, the best just JRPGs. J I, I, th I think I, cause I, I, I come into this, I come into Final Fantasy seven after playing so many of my favorite JRPGs. Yeah. And with the critical claim that I had, I was expecting more, I guess. Yeah. Uh, from the characters. Okay. I, I, one game that I've always wanted to play, and I'll say this cause I'm just gonna forget it if I don't say it right now. Yeah. Uh, one JRPG that I've always been interested in and everyone always talks about is like the, one of the best ever is like Chrono Trigger. Yes. I've always wanted to play that cause it yeah. looks fun. Okay. You you asked me what the best cast of characters in JRPG is. Yeah. I probably say Chrono Trigger. Right, okay, Chrono. Like Chrono Trigger did something uh, like not only like what was amazing about that game, like for one, one of the best game soundtracks ever made in my opinion. Okay. Uh, two, it's just like a really, interesting concept of not only combat concepts back in the day, cause like back when Chrono Trigger came out <clears> that it's not turn-based anymore. It's like, it's not your like average Final Fantasy turn-based. It's like turn-based yeah. with a mix of real time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. And that was like unheard of when that came out. So that was already amazing. And yeah. then just the fucking story is- yeah, I've heard the story is amazing. So good. Which is why I really want to play it. Yeah, yeah. it's an incredible game. You should definitely play it. Yeah, like playing through Final Fantasy 16 now- I'm Makes me want to play Chrono Trigger again now. Yeah. <laughs> play, is, there, is there a second one? There is on like PS1, right, or something? Uh, there's Chrono Crusade. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. That's something different. Which is something different, yeah. yeah. Like playing through, through Final Fantasy 16 now, cause I looked up the completion time of Final Fantasy 16 and mm. it's like, you know, some people complete in like 35 hours, which is- mm. Which keep cutscenes. Incredibly yeah, skip cutscenes, <laughs> which to me is like, seems like incredibly short for a that JRPG. Is, yeah. But it's not the, the standard completion time of a Final Fantasy game. No, it's more like 50, 60 hours really? usually. Yeah. I thought most of them were like, cause I've been, cause I've obviously been looking which one to play next. Mm. Most of them have been clocking in at like 35. Really? Yeah, I mean, I mean, na name one, I'll just have a look right now. Six. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Time to- Cause I remember be... maybe I was just like a dumbass kid trying to figure this shit out. But like, I remember first time I beat Final Fantasy yeah, 6. I 35 was... hours. Okay, dude, name, name another one, name I, another one. Dude, I spent like name 80 hours one. in that game. Uh, let's do 10. Are you serious? Yeah. 10, okay, wow, 46 hours. Yeah, 10 okay. is long. Sheesh, okay, what about- uh? 13. Why does it nine. feel a lot longer? Nine is 39. 
It feels way longer. Uh, wait, wait, look up 13 Sentinels. How long does that take? It took me like- That, <laughs> okay, took, don't me. that took me 30 hours. I literally use this website for everything. Cause I'm like, when I'm streaming, I, I gotta know how to long it. Like, cause yeah. I, cause <laughs> I, I am the average gamer, if not better than the average gamer at most games. So that's yeah. like what I would what probably clock in at. And then streaming yeah. kind of slows it down. So I'm normally around- Wait, what about Chrono Trigger? Okay, how long time to beat Chrono. I think I beat it in like 50, 60 hours. Uh, when focusing on the main objectives, 23 hours. But it's if you were gonna, trying to do 100%, 42 hours. Can you can you search up? I might have just I can, might have just accidentally can, can, done hundred percent. Can you then. search up Persona Five? Yeah, Persona, because that uh, is a long game. That's RPG. a long game. That is no shot. What? A hundred hours. Yeah, that's, okay, that's yeah, about okay. right. Checks yeah, that, that, that checks out. Yeah, out. yeah. And one hundred and seventy three hours to hundred percent. Checks out. Yeah. Checks out. So I, I think I think these are like what 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 this I think how this website works is that people play the game. And it's like a community thing. So shout out to all they people. They submit it. Yeah. Shout out to all the people who submit the thing because you, you are doing it. You are you are helping so much. Yeah. Um, yeah so I think that's on average. So, yeah. that, so yeah. that that means that if you're a fast gamer, it could be ninety. But if a lot of people, it could be like a hundred. Oh, first time 20. was Persona Five for me, and I, I definitely took more than a hundred hours. Yeah, I took more than a hundred. It's hours. also interesting seeing how uh, on the different platforms it changes sometimes. Mm. People who played on like PC can emulate so they can speed it up. Oh, true. Yeah. true. Okay, what's the longest Final Fantasy game? What is the longest? I feel like it's 10. 10 probably. Right. Really? Yeah. Or maybe one of the 13 games. Uh, I mean, 14. 11 apparent. No, wait, what's 11? 11? 11 is the uh, MMO. Oh, okay, that's, well, that's yeah, that's that 11 and 14 count. don't count. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, then 14 per second. Yeah. 12 yeah. is 60 hours apparently. It takes oh, well, okay. oh, Zodiac Age, yeah. Yeah, I can see that, that was pretty long. But Chrono then again, Trigger, for Chrono, me, it's- Chrono, Chrono, Chrono clocking at 20 sounds great. That sounds like, a, like 20 yeah. hours to complete a main story mm. for a JRPG. That sounds so nice and digestible and yeah. easy to get into. But it's if, hard if, as shit if, though. If, it, if it's like a good game, like I said, I want to be immersed as much as possible. You ask me why I read lore and why I read wiki articles. It's because like, I, to me, like good world building, the world should exist, even if Sorry. the story isn't being Just told. imagining like, Gart reading the lore while Sephiroth's twerking, ending the world. <laughs> 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 and I was like, <laughs> oh, like, yeah, that's uh, that's actually uh, that's a canon event actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry for interrupting you. Yeah, like ahead. like to me, like a good world should exist even if the main story being told didn't exist. The world should still function. Mm. And to me, just like the world existing to me is almost even sometimes mm. more interesting than the story being told by whatever, mm. whatever it is, you know. Maybe that's that, how aliens feel when they saw like World War II going on. They were like, I just <laughs> want to know what the world's doing. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. was, was, but I have no, I wanna, I have I no interest what the, in getting involved. I want to know what the background lore is behind World War II. <laughs> I was an alien. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty interesting. Interesting, actually. The, the yeah. Aliens watching has been like, you know, they uh, they were arguing about toilet paper before this. Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating stuff, truly. But yeah. in the meantime, thank you so much for watching the podcast that is named Trash Taste that we three are the hosts <laughs> of. <laughs> Joey, say the thing. Hey, look at these patrons. And let us know in the comments what JRPG Connor should play What next. is the best Final Fantasy? Let us know down below. If you're a real yes. one, you will tell us. Yeah, if you're a real one, you'll say six. No, if you're a real one, you'll say the one that I like the most. Which is, also, should be six. Also, <laughs> since I know I'm gonna piss off a lot of Final Fantasy VII fans. Uh, please tell me, uh, tell me you why- You gotta finish uh, your damn game. Yeah, you, you just gotta finish your Final Fantasy. Right? <laughs> I, I, I need to be drawn in first, you know, I, I, need, I need to be attached. All right, but hey, in the meantime, why not follow us over on our Patreon to support us directly? Patreon.com slash Trash Taste. Also yeah. follow us on Twitter, send us some memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And we'll see you guys next week as always. Bye. Bye.